Hello, everybody, and how you doing? Happy Friday night to you. Got some Friday night chill vibes going on here. <laughs> let's crack, let's clap for Rusty when he comes in. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, man. We're back here with some more nice, going to take it nice and easy countryside life here uh for those of you who uh may have caught the last episode episode five of center station uh, simulator before i pulled it down um i just want to say sorry about that uh it wasn't until i was out and away from the house that i looked at the video and i realized that the final three minutes of it got chopped off <laughs> and I'm going, oh, fudge. And I didn't say fudge. And I then got back to the house and realized exactly what happened. And somehow in DaVinci Resolve, I slid a slider that shouldn't have been slid. And three minutes of the game got cut off. So we are going to have that... Uh, I will have that. I might actually even get it reloaded and just have it out there available tonight. Because the, the And the reason I didn't do it as a premiere is because the video is like an hour and 10 minutes long. And that was with me cutting like almost 35 minutes out of the darn thing. It was an adventure. Yes, I did see you ask about the cliffhanger. Uh, and yeah, unfortunately, you can't see the reply because I yanked the video down. But believe you me, it will be back with the three minutes of extra footage at the end. Um, consider it like the director's cut <laughs> and we'll have it so it will be back uh, so for those of you who did watch it I'm very very sorry that it like got chopped off at the last three minutes because I was really really not happy about that so we will have it for you and it will be there so let us see who all is in the chat on this wonderful Friday night <clears throat> How are we doing? We got Knucklehead here. How you doing, Knucklehead? So good to see you. Kagan Plays, how's it going? Luna, hello. How you doing? Diane Smith, uh, Heather Rosso, and Rosso. Uh, and Violin, how you doing? J-Dub, how's it going? And going down the list, OG, Uncle Mike's Gaming, how you doing tonight? And going up, Bad Wolf, so good to see you. So glad you're here. And continuing on down the line, uh, Steph is here. Yes, we are here at the Moonshine Shack. Circle E Gaming, how you doing? So good to see you. Julia Webb, hi. Glad you're here. And going on down the list, Anthony, how you doing? Hey, ya. Uh, good to see you. And down the line we go. Catnip, hello. How you doing? And Sabine Waywashi, how are you? It is good to have you here. Let us hop in. And let us get on some good old relaxing here in the wonderful world of countryside life. I'm trying to remember exactly where we were when we left off, other than being in our moonshine shack. So let's take a look outside and see what we got going on here. There's our truck. So yeah, we got our, our fancy new shelving units. I love our shelving units. I do love a shelving unit. That is really, really great. And... Uh, yeah, uh, if, if you didn't finish watching it, it will be back out again. Not to worry. It will be back there. I've just, uh, I made the changes to it, and it will be better the second time around because it will actually have, like, the entire video. So <laughs> that's good. Fishbait, how you doing? Good to see you. Glad you're here. And, uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was the thing. So, yes, we've got everything all squared away here. How you doing, chum? Yeah. <laughs> That was pretty bad. And, uh, yeah, so we are going to start getting things set up here. We got all of our lovely watermelons that are ready to go. And we can get these sold. And we're just going to kind of go right down the line. Hopefully, we are going to be able to get ourselves enough money to get ourselves a greenhouse. That is the goal. I'm glad that you enjoyed the video, the, uh, the all but three minutes of it that you saw. It was, I really liked it. I just wish that the entire thing was there. So, I mean, that's not too much to ask that the entire, that the entire video is there. Yeah, the shelves make so much, it makes things so much easier. It really, really does. 
they are like one of the best things that they did in this game. Absolutely one of the best things they did. So we've got that. Uh, the snare drum is out. Or no, that's not the snare drum. I, uh, it's the whatever kind of drum that is. Uh, you know, the drum that goes that one. And uh, is the cabbage ready? It is just about. There we go. So we're going to do some melons and cabbages. Me just weird. How you doing? Happy Friday night to you. Glad you're here. It is a good Friday night. I hope everyone has had a lovely Friday, and I thank you for being here for part of our our Friday night fun. Just kind of taking it nice and easy, going to relax, going to sell a bunch of produce, going to plant a bunch of produce, going to see if we can get a greenhouse. It's what we like to do. Twilight Butterfly Pink. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah, and I got to get the new truck. Yeah, I got to get the new truck. I got to work on that, too. So maybe that'll be the first thing I'll do is get a new truck because I, yeah, I did hear that the new truck holds a lot more than the beat up white one. So we will also do that. We will make that one of our priorities. That is the snare drum. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. I don't know why I thought it was something else. I'm not good with my drums. Okay. And we are going to go over here. How much produce do we have left? Zero. None. Okay. Let's open up our shop. And we'll put some stuff out. Oh, yeah, and I got some new shelves in case you haven't seen the place since the last time you, uh, we were here. Lights! Um, got all kinds of new shelves in here, too. So it's pretty good. Uh, white is 17. The new one is 27. But the murder truck. We get to keep the murder truck, Steph. We don't have to give it back. I mean, we get to keep it. So it, it, it stays with us forever. We never get to leave it. Um, and we, we love all of our vehicles that we get to keep. Why do I keep hopping in the truck? That's twice in a row. I, I Someone's going to take my license away if I keep doing this. So there. It's that easy. Just click on the back of the truck, not the front of it. Just the back of the truck. It's really not hard. Really not difficult to do this. And there we go. There's all that. So yeah, we'll, we'll definitely keep the murder truck. Yeah, this is dirt. Wink. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to tell you, at least. Um, sure, it's dirt. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to go back over here. Do I even have anything left to plant? Oh, that blood is definitely from you running over pedestrians. I just nudge them. I just give them a little nudge. I don't run them over. I just nudge them. I mean, it's just they're, they're in my way. They just need a little nudge. See? We'll, we'll even do it right now. Here. We're going to go back right this way because there's one right here. Uh, is she still out here? Yeah, here she is. Okay, see? We're, we're just going to go right here. We're just going to give her a little nudge. Just, uh, just get her out of the way. See? Just a little nudge. See, just like that. I mean, that that's not bad. That's not bad at all. See, that was easy. Uh, let's see. Uh, DSM Guru. Hi, Rusty. I have to know in a past video you said you watched WrestleMania. Am I a Cody crybaby? I'm not I'm really that vested one way or the other. I mean, it was good to see Cody win just because I don't think that they could have pulled, pulled off having Roman win another year. I think people would have absolutely lost their minds had that happened. So I'm glad that they did it the way that they did it. And I can see why they did it the way that they did it last year, too. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, see, I didn't splat them. It was just a little nudge. It was just a little nudge. I mean, they, they, I just kind of, I, I moseyed them out of the way. That's all it is. So, I mean, uh, yeah, they'll, they'll be angry, but they'll get over it. It's, it's not bad. It's really not. I think I need one more thing of produce. Maybe two. Let's get some cucumbers. Okay. Let us do this. And swing it around. Ooh! And back this way. And back we go. And we're going to run this way. And go over here. And get all this planted. And yeah, once I have enough money, I will get the new truck. So maybe I will forego the... Uh, maybe I will forego the greenhouse in the name of getting the new truck. Because the new truck would be a better thing to get. So we'll, we'll, we'll probably do that. So let's get all this stuff put up. And then we'll uh, work on getting a new truck. Because it would be good to have more room to plant stuff. And to carry stuff, for sure. So let's do that. And there is a garbage can right here. I do remember that. So that's much better than running all the way over to the other one. And then we're going to go over here. And we got... Oh, oh they fixed that. That now says radish. It doesn't say reddish anymore. So they fixed that. So it actually says radish. 
Big Reddish is now disappointed because they were trying to make inroads into the vegetable market and they no longer are because now the Reddish has been replaced with the Radish as it was always supposed to be. And lastly, uh, oh, uh, it's uh, just that. Oh, the onions. There we go. Uh, oh, I can't plant those yet because I've got all the potatoes over there. But oh yeah, I can get the I can get the pumpkins now. Let's do that. So yeah, there is a doctor in town. Um, they're very happy with all the business that I send them. So <laughs> with everything I do to help out the town, they're very happy that I'm here because it is it definitely has kept them busy for sure. Okay, yeah, I do love these shelves. I absolutely love these shelves. They are one of the best things that they could add to the games. All these shelves. Um, I did like the reddish too. I really did like the reddish. It's a shame it's gone. I mean, it was it was really a, it was a nice touch. Like I said, it goes with the it goes with the crab sticks in supermarket. You have reddishes and you have crab sticks, <laughs> and you have them together, and it makes for a nice salad. I think you, you just take some crab stick, throw it on your reddish, and throw a little bit of dressing on there, a little drizzle, and you're you're all good. You got everything you need for a lovely dinner. Okay, how are these potatoes? Do? Oh, they have no water. That's the issue with the potatoes. So we are going to do, bought a bunch of lamps for that big field so I could see what I was doing. I also have to do that as as well. I also have to get some lamps. I will work on that at some point. So many options, so many priorities, so many things that have to be done. But right now we have to water our potatoes. Otherwise, they're never going to grow. So we're going to do that. So all the water for all the potatoes right down the line. And that's it. Not the crab sticks. <laughs> I know how much you love the crab sticks. I know you love the crab sticks. You cannot deny it. You talk about it all the time. I know it. You talk about how much you love the crab sticks all the time in secret conversations. You're like, man, I just love myself some crab sticks. I cannot get enough of some crab sticks. I just want more and more. Uh, cowgirl, how you doing? So good to see you. Glad you're here. Happy Friday to you. I'm parked in some really janky manner right now, so this is going to take like five things to get out of here. What am I even stuck on? I don't know. <laughs> we'll go this way, and that'll be better. All the nurses are out tonight to do their stuff. Okay, stop. Yeah, I forgot how these don't have breaks. It's been a while since I played this. Okay, uh, 1900. Okay, so once we sell all of these pumpkins... We'll be in good shape, and then we can get a new truck to uh, have as a another one that goes with the murder truck. So, okay, here she comes. She is coming for some veggies. She apparently wanted some pumpkins, and that was it. So, grab some pumpkins. Look at that. You know you want some pumpkins. You're looking at Oh, and then after that, you get some cabbages. I swear if they put crab sticks in center station, I am quitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I want to save this bucket and take it with me to the rusty cart. I absolutely do. But now that I have the water, uh, the water place downstairs, which you haven't possibly seen yet, if you haven't seen the video that I pulled down, I do have the water spout downstairs, so I don't really have to worry as much about having a big water pail because it's a lot easier to get to it now. Um, but yes, it would still be nice to have this for sure. Okay, let's get all the fertilizing done. All the fertilizing down the row and I can barely see but I want to save my money I got to save my oh and the cucumbers have no water so everything needs water it's amazing how that happens you got to water the stuff they have it grow what's this all about when did they put that into farming all this water stuff it's a plot by big water I'm sure okay uh, cucumbers more cucumbers and we need more water in this thing it should just constantly hold water that's not too much to ask. Just a bucket of infinite water. That would really be nice. Save me a little bit of running. And it's all about me, after all. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Onions. And we're going to run these all the way down. Oh. And then we've got uh, more cucumbers. Oh, I've got two rows of cucumbers? What do I have that for? Um, all the cucumbers. Apparently, it's cucumber season is all I can figure. So there's some of that, some of that, some of that. And I'm just going to go down the line. And uh, what do I have over here? Is this, uh, oh, this is our reddishes. There we go. That's what we got there. All the reddish, which is now radish. Okay, so these are all good. How are we doing on money? 2090. 
Okay, so we're almost up to twenty one hundred dollars. So getting closer. Uh, water access pipe. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, that thing. Uh, step, and I'm not going to say any more. Say no more. Say my name. Do they have sprinkler? Do they have sprinklers in this game? Uh, they do not. It would be nice if they did. Uh, it would be really nice if they did, but they do not. So regrettably, no. Um, I'm telling you, Center Station. It's it's a thing, man. It's a vibe. It's a crazy thing. And there's so many extra things that you can do in the game that we haven't even scratched the surface on. It's really berserk. I just I don't I don't even know. I just don't even know. There's just so many potential options in that thing. It's it's kind of weird. Cuz at the same time it's it is a little bit sluggish, but at the same time there's just so much stuff, so many possibilities, and I didn't even realize I had stuff planted in this field over here. Um it's kind of weird. It's like I've got this random field here that's got tomatoes in it and they're not doing anything. Uh, this is what happens when you don't play a game for a week. You come back and it's like, uh, yeah, you got all this stuff over here. Uh, <laughs> did you forget about it? Uh, yes, I did. I absolutely did. So we'll get all that done. Um, you accuse me and uh, uh, <laughs> you accuse us of being fans of Center Station. Uh, I, I can own that. I can definitely own that. I got to do one thing here real quick and yeah, swing that down. There we go. And there we go. Sprinklers would absolutely be amazing in this game. They would completely change the face of the game if, if there were sprinklers here. No doubt about it. I'm going to hold off on fertilizing any of this because I don't really need to. So, uh, let's see. You don't want to watch the video because spoilers and I have to wait until Monday to play it again. Yeah, there would be a heck of a lot of spoilers if you watched mine. There would be a ton of spoilers absolutely a bunch of spoilers so you may want to hold off because it would be spoiler central and you don't want that um i think i am a half a dollar short from being able to buy that truck i believe that i need 28.99 um oh you know you love it bad wolf don't don't even try and pretend that you don't love it you know you do don't deny it it's just you you you, you know you do everybody loves that game there's there's no questioning it so it would be nice if you could also hire employees but at the same time there's not like there's a ton to do so it's not like you got too much you got to worry about um and now i just have to stand here and wait for someone to buy the last set of those pumpkins don't get the truck get the greenhouse but people want me to get the truck i can probably do both if i play my cards right there's a possibility I can do both. And the truck holds a lot more. That's what everyone keeps telling me, is that the truck holds a lot more. So if the truck holds a lot more, I should really get the truck. So that's what we're that's what we're gonna do. Is uh, we just we gotta we gotta wait for the truck. So we'll but we'll try and do both. We'll abs we'll absolutely try and do both. Um let's see. Uh, six ingot pallets. Yeah, that that's goals right there. <laughs> six ingot pallets would definitely be goals I will definitely have to try and do that at some point but uh, what was I trying to say I don't even know oh yeah the, the truck no you can't sell the car the cars stick with you forever nobody wants those things once you once you get rid of them they are stuck with you forever and ever uh, Steph thank you very much for your for your one dollar super chat again thank you very very much for that i appreciate the generosity as always get the truck and load it with pumpkins uh i'll need the money to do that but i will do that once i have the money dmp alfonso hi happy friday to you how you doing so good to see you uh i need why is no one buying those pumpkins they're there i know they're there they're gonna make me run back there and i <sighs> I just wanted to buy the truck. Now, now I'm on a, now I'm on a thing about the truck. And of course, by the time I get back here, they're going to have bought the pumpkins, and I will have made all this trip for nothing, because this is how it goes. So let's drive around the corner. Uh, you get a nudge, just a little one, just a little nudge. And yep, there it is. As soon as I hopped out of the truck, someone bought the pumpkins. I knew it. That was how it was. Again, thank you very much, Steph, for that. And unfortunately, 
<laughs> Streamlabs does not know how to recognize <laughs> what your name is. So uh, you sent me a dollar to get my truck. <laughs> I appreciate that. Here we go. Red or blue? I like red. I'm going red. So I'm executive decision. Red it is. There we go. Look at our fancy red truck. And we're just going to leave that one there. We will eventually come back and get it at some point. But we got our fancy red truck now. And we now, look at us. We're styling. It's got windshield wipers. It doesn't have a rear view mirror. But it's, got weird, it's got windshield wipers. Um, it's got a dashboard. Uh, it turns like a boat and stops like one, too. So it stops like a freight train with 150 cars on it. <laughs> so aside from that, it's perfectly fine. So let's collect all of our stuff because now we need to make all the money again. So let's make all the money because we really need all the money now. So let's get all this stuff up in our stuff. TD Sports Cards, how you doing? Happy Friday to you. Glad you're here. We are planting, or we are now getting ready to sell some more stuff. And we just bought a fancy red truck. Ooh, it's even got some nice tires on it. Look at those tires. Tires have a decent profile to them. Man, you could drive through. You could go on, go on SnowRunner with those tires, man. <laughs> That'd be a thing. Okay, so we got uh, onions. And I know there's more stuff here that's ready. So we're just going to keep on unloading stuff here. And, or we're going to load it. We're going to harvest it. Those are the words I'm trying to say. Uh, they, they come out in some order, and they're not always right, but they're, they're, there's words. So we'll grab all this. Yeah, cucumbers. A billion cucumbers to be had. And I'm going to need a ton of, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, blue containers. All the plastic, because I know how much Steph loves her plastic. She absolutely loves all of her plastic. Um, it is her favorite thing. <laughs> it's the reason she comes back to watch these games all the time is because of all the plastic in the game. <laughs> okay. I think all the other stuff in this field is probably ready too. So let's see. Uh, this should also be ready. The radishes are. Wow, we're going to have a lot of stuff to sell now. Uh, all kinds of stuff. And we're going to have to turn right around and get nothing but containers. Am I going to play Aquarist, uh, Aquarist again? Maybe? I might do that one again at some point. Um, but I, yeah, I, it's not, it's a little bit lower on my list. But at some point I might play that one again. There is indeed words. There are definitely words. And they'll, they'll come out in whatever order they want. So yeah, at some point I may play that one again. But like I said, right now it's it's not as high on my priority list. I got a bunch of stuff that right now is kind of all up there, and um, we'll uh, yeah we'll see how it goes because I've got a lot of stuff that I'm enjoying right now. I'm really really having fun. If you haven't guessed with uh, the Planet Crafter game and with the Center Station game, so those are going to both definitely be out there on the list for quite some time, and. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens from there. And I know there's going to be all kinds of other new releases that are coming out too. So just all kinds of, all kinds of opportunities, all kinds of potential for stuff. So yeah, hope that answers your question. And more cucumbers. I really probably should take all this over to the stand now because I'm not selling anything and that's not good because I am empty. All right, another little niche, little niche. There you go. Either way. So just a little niche. Uh, can of chicken. Hello. Thank you on the new truck. Um, yeah, we spent some money on the new truck because it holds more than the, um, it holds more than the murder truck does. So since we can hold more than the murder truck, we're going to hold more than the murder truck. And we're going to put all this up. And then, yeah, the next thing we'll go for is going to be the greenhouse. We'll see how we do. Uh, we should be able to make that happen. I think I'm, I'm feeling it. I think we'll be able to do that. And now all we need them to do, if they haven't done it already, is put a garbage can by over, over by the greenhouse. Because I, I remember that they didn't have a garbage can by the greenhouse. Uh, Yoda is not here. I do believe Yoda is uh, just kind of recovering. She had the issue with her hand, and I believe that she was going to get that treated today. So she's kind of taking a, a well-deserved well night of R&R &R to kind of uh, just recover a bit from everything with her hand uh, and uh yeah she should be back 
again by tomorrow, I would think. Uh, Danny Smith. How are you doing? Good to see you. Do they have pet dogs in this game? Can't be a true country life, uh, countryside life without a pickup and a dog. I don't think they have pets yet. Maybe at some point they'll do it, but I don't think they have any pets yet. So it would be cool to have a dog. That's for sure. But at this point, I don't think they have them. So we will hopefully get there. Teresa Lilly, how you doing? Happy Friday to you. Glad you're here. Hope you're having a wonderful time. And yeah, this is awesome. We got our, our we got our Friday night chill group here. Now you're gonna get hit hard. Just boom, and right in there. I had that one coming. So, oh, Sour Patch Kid, how you doing? Good to see you. Proverbs eight thirteen. Hi, how are you? Happy Friday. And I ran that lady completely over. She didn't do anything to me. I don't know why I did it, but. Uh, yeah, I, I know she was feeling okay. It was just, I think there was just something with her hand was all it was. So she was getting that taken care of today. So that is, uh, that's the situation there. But aside from that, everything's all right. So nothing, uh, yeah. All right, let's fill this thing up with all of the, all the containers. And then, then we'll be in pretty good shape here. Yeah, wow, that thing really does stack. Nice. I like this. This is good. Look at us. All the blue containers. And at some point, I'm going to run. That was where I ran out. There it is. All right, so we're going to drop that. That's the last one. And. Uh, so now, let us spin around and put away all of our containers. So, <laughs> no, no one's worried about being offended not here we're all we're all family here it's all good it's all family here okay Le oh i wasn't looking where i was going okay let's just kind of pull up right about here i love the fact that the trees like so the, the apparently the trucks have no windshield because the tree just like pulls right into the truck so it's <laughs> you just you never know with these with these vehicles exactly what you're going to get. So it's a uh, it's always a mystery what you're going to get with them. All right, now we're going to put away all of our containers all up here and get these all done. Apparently, blue is the color today. Is it? Oh shoot! I didn't mean to grab that. Not at all. Uh, you go right back there. Why did I grab that? Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Hit boxes. They are random. So let's grab these. Yes, stretch time. Definitely. If you have not stretched, definitely get up and move around a bit. It is definitely the way to go. Especially after a fun Friday. You can just kind of take it easy, relax, chill, and go from there. So uh, in terms of live streams, I will be doing a live stream Sunday at noon, Central Daylight Time. So we will have our normal Sunday live stream at 12 p.m. Uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is. I might do more Center Station because at this point I am just completely all in on that thing. So I might do some more of that uh, because I've got to see what else we got going on in there because it feels like there's just so much stuff and I've just got to know. I got to know. Um, so yeah, that we might do some more of that on Sunday, but we will have a Sunday live stream. Uh, no windshield, no working mirrors. It's, it's a miracle that it even has an engine. I'm not even sure if it has an engine. I don't think anyone can prove that it actually does. So we're, we'll, we will find out, but I mean, it, it moves forward. I don't know what's making it move forward, but something makes it move forward. Uh, it could be some other force of nature. Uh, so it's hard. It's really hard to tell with this thing. Okay, that is all those. Um, watering my fields with the uh, with the tank now. Oh yeah, I've been doing that for a while. Yeah, I've had I've had the tank for a while now. So I had that going back a, a ways. I'm trying to think how long I had that, but it's uh, it's been a bit. So yeah, all good with the with the water tank. And we are going to get the rest of 
this, and we got all those tomatoes over the other field. I got so much produce. Oh, we got all the money. Look at us go, fourteen forty-three. So yeah, I got to get a whole bunch of pumpkins. Got to get all the pumpkins now. Real Shadow Cat, hey, how you doing? Fajita Fridays. Mm -mm. I do love Fajita Fridays. Was there an update recently? The last update was, I believe, a week ago, and it gave us these shelves. And it also gave a, a few places where you can sell your produce, like in bulk. But I don't think that the sell price on them is nearly as good if you, as if it is if you sell the stuff yourself. So that's like if you're just in an absolute hurry, then you can use the, the sell points. Um, but that was the last update that there was. And that was, yeah, that was like a week ago, I do believe. Diane Smith, thank you so much for the $2. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for making me buy all these games. I do what I can. I absolutely do what I can. Uh, Matthew, the computer voice, will be here to also read out your message once he arrives. He's always 45 seconds late, but he will be here very soon to read out your message. But again, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, I've got to get used to the fact that you got to right click on this in order to actually grab a container. Or I'm not used to that. So you got to right click on the slot in order to activate the slot. That's just not normal. Okay, so we're going to hop in and back up. Oh, I'm hitting something. I don't know what. And we're going to go this way. I'm uh, going to give this guy a nudge. Just a little nudge. It'll blend right in. Just doink. There we go. Just a little nudge. And out we go. And wow, we're out of stuff already. Holy cow, they bought everything. All the things. Okay, let's refill. All the refilling. And there's that. And how much did we have in here? Where is Matthew the computer voice? I know he's slow, but he shouldn't be that slow. <laughs> he will be around eventually. Uh, please don't go anywhere. I will not be going anywhere at all. Uh, you can guarantee that. Will not be going anywhere. I am, I have nowhere else to be other than here. Um, so no worries about that. Between you and Cans loan, my, give my credit card a great workout. Between the two of us, I'm glad that we could be of assistance. Uh, I'm glad that we could help out in making sure that you get all kinds of quality games uh, to play. <laughs> so... It's there he is. Thank you, Matthew. Thanks for making me buy all these games. LOL. I knew he'd eventually be here. I don't know what was taking him so long, but uh, it, he was he was definitely a little bit slow on the trigger. Um, are these fruits in very organic? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping they're organic. I really do hope they're organic. I, I can't say for sure, but I hope they are. So I don't want to be in, accused of selling stuff that's not good. So. We'll, we'll say they are. We'll call that a yes. So, because I don't know the answer, but we'll call that a yes. We'll say that it is. Okay. Yeah, the sell point. Yeah, the sell point is. Um, yeah, there. You can't. You can't get the same value as you would if you sold at your little store here. So, and and some of them you actually lose a little bit. Like, I think there was one time I was looking at the carrots and you actually lost a little bit money uh, selling the carrots at the sell point. So that was kind of a bummer <laughs> to see that. But, I mean, I, I do love the fact that they have the uh, the shelves. The shelves were absolutely the best part of this for me. I absolutely love those. Okay, we're going to get, uh, let's see, we're going to get a thing of pumpkins for sure. Do I want another thing of pumpkins? Uh, yeah, I'll get another thing of pumpkins. Why not? And then we'll get a thing of uh, cabbages. And we'll go with that to start. And then I got to get something that'll grow fast. So let's do some, uh, uh, let's do some corn. Why not? I don't normally often do corn. So we'll do some corn. And grab this. And whoa. Hopefully no one's behind me. And if they are, it's their own fault. They know I don't have a rear view mirror to see if there's anyone there. So they should know better than <laughs> than to be behind me at this point in time. Okay. And I'm going to slide right up here. Yeah, the shelves were absolutely a game changer. Absolutely made all the difference. I'm going to walk right through that branch. It's all good. Ugh. And let's do some planting. 
Here's our corn, all right here. And that's all right down the line. And here's our garbage can. I wish I could move the garbage cans. That would be real nice if you could move the garbage can. Daryl B., how you doing? Happy Friday to you. Glad you're here. I figured you'd make it. Um, we are planting away. We bought a pickup truck. So we have a fancy pickup truck now. And now we're saving up for a greenhouse. So we're going to do that. Uh, big field, do, uh, you do two pumpkins, one each cabbage, watermelon, and garlic. That sounds like a pretty good plan. Um, I'm, I'm still working on, if you want to call it a strategy, I don't know if I've got one, but I'm, I'm working on getting things kind of putting up the way I want them. It will eventually get there. I'll probably always just keep on switching things around. Garlic keeps the vampires away. Absolutely keeps the vampires away. Don't want vampires around here. You can't have that. We're not going to have it. We will not hear of such tomfoolery at all. All right, there's the pumpkins. I think that's all I bought, right? Uh, yeah, because that was all I could afford. Uh, yes, nothing else in the truck. Okay. Let us get all of this with the fertilizer. All the fertilizing going on right down the line. And I'm going to have to buy some more fertilizer eventually. Yes, definitely going to need some more fertilizer. And right down we go. Turn the corner and go back this way. Oh, wow. Apparently those both were short. Okay. So let's do this again with this. And run this way with it. And those are good. So now we'll go to the pumpkins. And go back again. Yeah, I'm going to definitely need fertilizer. It's been a while since I bought any, so that's good. And those are good. And now these. And one more, and I should be fine. There it is. Okay. So get all of that. And there we go. Okay, we'll put this one down on the bottom shelf. Now our water. Uh, I did see what you said about the two smaller plots. I did. Um, and yeah, like, uh, like I said, I, I'm still working on a strategy. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with everything. Um, it's all the giant balancing act. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will at some point have some kind of a strategic read to all this, possibly, maybe. Or maybe I'll just keep going by the seat of my pants. I don't know. It's always hard to tell exactly what's going to happen with me. Uh, you never know. Uh, from one day to the next, it's always something that could potentially be different. Um, all the cabbage. Oh, I almost got all those right in a row. And now we're going to go over here, get our corn. Oh, get our corn. Ugh. And more corn. That did not get watered. Uh, go on there. There we go. And there we go. That's it. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Gonna drop that right there. Okay, I need a stretch for sure. That was a big stretch. Oh, man, that was a big one. Ah, all right. Perfect. Okay, so that's all going. Oh, I've got stuff over here I can plant. Yeah, that's right. I got these onions. I forgot about those. So we're gonna set these in here. Uh, oh, the garlic. That's what that was. It wasn't onions. It was garlic. So let's put all this in. And then, then we'll go and get some more produce and some more fertilizer. So, yeah, let's grab that one and go down the run. Uh, J-Dub, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Uh, let's see, who is it? Can of Chicken! Look at that! Welcome to the Rusty Champagne Club, courtesy of J-Dub. How about that? High five! That's awesome. Again, thank you, J-Dub, very much for the for the gifted membership. That's so, so nice, man. So, so nice. Um, there will always be videos here. No doubt about it. We will always have stuff. Between me and Bad Wolf, I do believe we are going to have you covered for a long, long time. Um, no doubt about it. We will definitely have you covered. And make sure you check out Low Plays, too. That's uh, L-O underscore Plays. Make sure you check her out, too. She's doing good stuff. Uh, let's see. Who hid the rack? <laughs> Rusty needs to be stretched out. I love it. Okay. Great success. No doubt about it. Uh, flawless victory. All right. I think I can spin around here. 
and we can see whether or not we've got anything left to sell over here or is it all sold again it is all sold again man these people love their produce they do not mess around with their produce they absolutely do not mess around with their produce darn skippy you're darn tootin absolutely all right let's see whoa um yeah i want to go this way because i want to get the fertilizer just drive right up in there Ugh. get it jammed up in there so all right fertilizer and get a bunch of this i wish i had counted to see how many i needed uh i'm gonna go with uh seven i think i could be wrong but i'm going with seven and then I need, uh, like, three more things for my other plots. So, what? I, well, I can start doing some bigger stuff. So, we'll do some, um, I'll do some more melons. No, I didn't get melons last time. So, we'll do some of those. And we'll do some more melons. And then we'll do some more pumpkins. Let's go big. Go big or go home. All the big stuff. There it is. So, <laughs> back that up. Back the truck up. One of Susie Lou's favorite sayings, back the truck up. And if she were here, she would agree with me. Um, she is out and about right now. But, uh, yeah, that is like one of her faves. So every time you see Susie Lou, you got to say back the truck up. And she'll be like, that's right. <laughs> that is, that's her jam of sayings right there. Oh, stop. All right. And let's get this unloaded. So we've got, oh, yeah, this is going to have to go over here. So let's see. You used to record games, too, but gave up on a take a break. Hey, it's important to take a break. Um, if, it, if it gets to the point where you're not having fun with it, it's definitely important to take a break. So there's nothing at all wrong with that. Absolutely not. Um, you've got to be having fun because if you're not having fun, then you definitely need to kind of take a look at it and go, okay, maybe, maybe there's other things that I should do at this point in time. And that's not, not wrong at all, not bad at all. Um, because, yeah, you've, you've always got to make sure that you're having fun with what you're doing. All the time. For sure. So, let us get this put up. And then I think we got one other thing in here. Yes, we do. We do. And I think this will all fit in this plot. So, yes, it will. All the watermelon. And there it is. Okay, perfect. So, now I need to get some stuff for this one as well. Uh, I do have some fertilizer up there, but i got to get some stuff for that plot as well. So that way I can not have to run all the way over to this side. Because running is overrated. Absolutely overrated. Uh, we don't need that in our life. So, okay, fertilizer. Going to go there and there. And, and then I think I can take one and put it over by the other plot. Oh, yeah, for sure, because I can only get five up here. Okay, so let's take these other two and run them over here. This will work out good. And the last one. There's one more in there. Yes, there is. So this tribe is absolutely amazing. It really is absolutely amazing. That is all thanks to you guys for being the awesomest people that you are because you are all awesome. And I love all you guys very, very much. So always be awesome. Always stay awesome. Um, you guys are what makes this thing what it is. In case there are happen to be any people here that are new, and if you're really having a fun time and if you're liking this vibe, uh, I'd love it if you consider giving the channel a subscribe because that would definitely help us out. Um, it's, of course, completely up to you, but it's completely free. So if you, would, if you are a fan of this and you, if you would like to hit that subscribe button, I would be very, very thankful. And don't forget the like while you're at it, too. Uh, but that it's uh, always appreciated. All right, let's do some watering and some fertilizing over here. Get all the water on these guys. And uh, how are we doing here? I got to turn on this light, too. And I got to buy some more lights. But I want to get the greenhouse first because I've been talking about the greenhouse. And it would be kind of false advertising if I did not actually get the, if I did not actually get the greenhouse. <laughs> so <laughs> got to actually do that. Um, I shouldn't have any problem with that, I don't think, because I've got so much high-dollar produce now that's in the ground. So I think we should be in pretty good shape. Oh, I don't need any water on that because there's nothing there. Okay, so that's good. And now let's take a look over here. Is there anything that's ready to sell? 
No, those are five minutes out. They can be rewatered, so let's go ahead and rewater them. Let's do that. Uh, thanks for your streams and the video. They make my life. I'm glad you glad I found your channel. Thank you so much for that, Twilight Butterfly Pink. That's very, very nice of you to say. I'm glad that I'm glad that this little bit of goofiness can bring a smile to your face and, and make life a little bit happier. Because it's as I've said before, there's nothing else that I would rather be doing, and I'm I'm absolutely loving this. And to know that you're loving it too is that, that makes me very happy to know. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Uh, that is very, very nice of you to say. And uh, we're going to go right down the line here. There's all that. How's this corn doing? Oh, the corn's ready. Okay. Let us get the corn and do that. So <laughs> like, all you to take a second, come along with me and hit the like. <laughs> that would be great. That would absolutely be great. Okay. Let us get the corn. Because this is ready to go. And we're going to put this up. And we're going to get more corn. And put it up. And then we'll see if we have anything else that's ready here. Hopefully we do. And a couple more. Back here. And then there's one more in there. So let's get that last one back there. And is there anything else that's ready? The only thing I wish they had in this game, I wish they had more than one music track. I really wish they had more than one music track in this game. I mean, it's a very, very nice music track. Don't get me wrong, but I wish that they had more than one. <laughs> I really wish they had more than one. That would really be nice if they did. But, uh, yeah, we'll... Maybe one of these days I'll put another music track in there. Uh, that would really be nice if they did. And, yes... For all the people that have that have been talking about Planet Creator, there will definitely, most definitely, be more Planet Creator. No doubt about it. Absolutely no doubt about it. We will have more Planet Creator. I love that game, and I am going to play that one for sure. You can guarantee that we're going to have more Planet Creator on this on this channel. No doubt about it. We are going to have that. That game is thebomb.com. Yes, I said that. Yes, you are all groaning. I hear you all groaning, and that's okay. You all groan, and I'm going to own it. So, But yes, we will definitely have more of that game on... <laughs> Feel free to turn it way down. We won't care. You know what? I'm Honestly, I'm going to do that, because really, this... Ah, oh, man. I've just... That track just... Oh, it gets to be a lot. Or maybe I'll just leave it like uh, just a little bit up. So it's not completely done. There we go. Because that, yeah, that track, I just, it, it gets to be a lot. It's just like, okay, I've heard this track like 14 times now. Please stop. And uh, yeah, it's a groan. That was a groaner. I know it was. I own it. I own it. So I, I, I at least own that. So I, <laughs> you should expect nothing less from me. Absolutely not. Let us get uh, as much of this produce as we can, and then we're going to probably go to sleep because it's getting really late out here. Uh, I got like one pixel to put this in here because I kind of parked really poorly. Okay. And now the interesting thing is that if we look, what is the source of light here at like 10 o'clock at night? What What is the source of light that is keeping it as light as it is right now? I don't know. It's very, very weird. Yeah, that track is a lot after so much time. Um, dad jokes. I, I could probably come up with one. I probably could, but I will refrain. It, yeah, I can't see a darn thing. I could not see a darn thing. So we're just going to fill this up. And we're going to drive back to the spot. There we go. Um, let's see. That's why I turned it off and listened to either the audiobooks or this lovely stream. Aww. Um... That's very nice. Okay. Let us drop this off here. Here, we got some options other than corn. We'll give you other stuff. How about some cabbages? We like some cabbages. We got some lovely bunches of cabbages. And we'll get those. I think there's one more in there. Yeah. One more. There we go. Got it. And now we'll go back. Okay. Now I'm just going to go to sleep. It is way too dark to be doing anything out here. So let's do that. Yes, we definitely need lights. 
no doubt about it. Uh, but right now I'm just trying to save up the money for the greenhouse. Um, so we're just going to fall asleep here on our cot in our moonshine shack and wake up to a new day. And let us, uh, yeah, let's move the truck over to the other side over here and see if I can park it a little bit better so I'm not like forced to get like one pixel. I am like way in the tree there. <laughs> All up in the tree. Uh, that's fine. No biggie. Okay, got some pumpkins. Did that shelf move? I don't remember putting it there. I thought that they were like even with each other. Did I like smash into it or something? Huh, that's weird. I could have sworn I had those two sitting right next to each other before. But somehow they've moved. Huh. We'll never know. No big deal. No big deal. Okay, let's get all these pumpkins sold. That would be good. Got a lot of pumpkins here. This would really go a long way towards getting us to a greenhouse. Uh, I would be all for that. Okay, got some cabbage as well. Going to need a lot more containers, so we're going to have to work on that as well. Grab a lot more containers and then get these swung away here. All right, got these. I do love this giant plot, that's for sure. So, hey, Susie Lou's in here. How you doing, Susie Lou? She's she's in here. She's folding up some laundry, so she's just in here to say hello. Um, so, yeah, she's she's behind me. Get ready to. I probably did nudge it. It's probably it. I I would completely own it. Um, I park facing the market and then just f coast forward after loading up. <laughs> That's probably a good plan. Probably a good plan. Let's see. Farm ghost. Uh, it could be a farm ghost. You you, you don't know with these things um, exactly what's causing it. Okay. I hope I got enough uh, stuff. Everybody's saying hello. Susie Lou says hi to everybody. Yeah. So I was not the only one who said the bomb.com. Apparently, Susie Lou also said that earlier. So you, so you can groan at both of us. Um, uh, so, and everybody knows that your favorite uh, saying is back the truck up. So, because I, I mentioned that earlier as I was backing the truck up literally. So they all know about back the truck up. So, yeah. So, Susan Lou will be on the chat in like five. So, when she gets on the chat and she says hi, you can all tell her to back the truck up. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's just in here doing doing the laundry thing. So, she loves the laundry thing. She does love a laundry thing. I'm not lying about that. She does love laundry. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a thing. It's really, really a thing. Between laundry and recycling, it's her jam. So, I know. It's, it's, a, it's a weird household here. It's an absolutely weird household, but hey, we we've got laundry and recycling on lock here at the. Living we're living and loving in recycling and laundry here at Rusty Champagne Land. So, and now everybody's like, "What's going on over there? What what's up with these people? These guys are weird." Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. If she finds a random sock, the yeah, Anna Violin says that if you find a random sock, she'll pay for shipping it to Philadelphia. <laughs> She's on it. She's looking. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'd like to see Bad Wolf and Rusty play Planet Creator together. That would be kind of cool. The only trouble is that Bad Wolf knows everything about Planet Creator, and I know nothing. So that that's the only that could be the only trouble. But it'd be a lot of fun, except for the fact that I would know absolutely zip. And she knows all of it. So that's the only bad thing. Let's see. Uh, Adon's World. How you doing? Happy Friday to you. Glad to see you. Glad you're here. How you doing? Uh, let's see. I would totally be down. I wouldn't say a word about uh, just let me figure it out. And you'd be biting your tongue until you needed gauze. I'm sure. You'd be like, no, go that way. It's over there. Uh! I... <laughs> I'd probably be doing the same thing, so I, I can imagine. So <laughs> that would be a lot of fun. Kabam chefs would be also be one that'd be a lot of fun, even though it's uh not a. I mean, even though it's been around for a bit, that would be one that'd be a lot of fun because that that game always felt like it'd be good as a collab game. Um, 
So, yeah, there's definitely opportunities there. That's for sure. Um, yeah, I know enough, I guess. And it'd be interesting to see what it's like doing it as a as a multiplayer from scratch. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but that game didn't have multiplayer before this, did it? It was a it was a solo thing, wasn't it? Before this, I believe the answer to that is yes. So maybe with it being collab, it, it yeah, there's there's definitely possibilities there. Um, you know nothing about kebab chefs except except that you have it. You're, I'm only one step ahead of you, so <laughs> I'm not that much further ahead of you. Um, so yeah, there there is possibilities there. We'll, we'll have to take a look into it and see if we can make something like that happen. I know that it's possible. Uh, we just have to figure out, like, logistics and how to make things work with, like, uh, having the, the chat uh, all work, which I think we could probably do in Discord. So, yeah, we'll uh, – yeah, it was single player. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to take a look at that because I think that some collab stuff would be really, really sweet. Um, I, would, I would have a lot of fun with that. So we will definitely have to give that a peek. And the public has spoken, so we will definitely we will definitely look into it and see what we can find out because I love doing stuff together. So we can definitely give that a peek and see what we can what we can have happen with it for sure. Okay, uh, up to two thousand dollars. That's good. Oh, I don't know. Why did I get in the truck? Oh, now I just got to run around the truck. Um, okay, let's grab all the containers, put them on all the slots, and do as little running as possible when I do this, because the least amount of running I can do, the happier I am. Because in this game, I am just that lazy. So, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nightwolf 1700, hello, it's a sad day for me, I had my build, oh no, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, that, that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's horrible news. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and I hope that everything goes okay for you. I really, really do. That, that's, that's definitely hard. So let's see. Uh, I can handle the technical stuff. You just push the buttons that I tell you. Okay. <laughs> you'll, you'll be the planet commander and I'll just be the, the, the grunt. Who goes around and pushes buttons. I'm good at pushing buttons. I can do that. I can make that happen. Absolutely can make that happen. Um, I'm a one heck of a button pusher. I have a degree in it, I'm pretty sure. So we can do that for sure. Okay, more shelves. All the shelves. And all the containers. Okay. Let's get these. We got all the colors too. So... Get all the colors. And I should probably... Is that the last one? That's the last one. Okay, let's grab the rest of our produce then. 3,500. Okay, we're getting up there. Getting up there in produce or in money. Oh, we got all those all those pumpkins over there too. So all the stuff. Okay, so let's hop around the corner here and let's get these. And... All, oh, oh. Oh, no, they're not ready yet. Okay, let's get them watered. So we got to give them a little bit of water, and then they'll be ready. Okay. So now it'll be good to go once they've got some water. And I think everything here is... Oh, those are already ready to go. Okay, perfect. So let's grab this. And that will get us even closer to getting a greenhouse. Even closer. So... All of this into the truck. And got that. Going to put that into the truck. And, oh, scratch on my nose. And then we got these. And uh, do I have any shelves? Oh, I do have shelves over there. Okay, I got shelves to my right, too. That's good. So I, once I'm out of these, I still have some that are over the other side. Okay. So grab that. And, uh... Yeah, I have no doubt that Teresa's got good ideas. I've got no doubt at all. So, no doubt whatsoever. All right, let's grab these. All of the fruit on this one. All the fruits. 
Okay, there's all that. Oh, and I got all those back there, too. Man, we got stuff everywhere. All right, let's run this back. Uh, back to our markets. Let's swing this around through the tree. And we will put this up. Okay. <laughs> Responsible for the arc stream. Yeah, I, that one. I know that that one is like one of your jams. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's that's great. All right, let's pick all this up and put this all here. So, yeah, we're at 3,700 now. Okay, but we're going to have to buy more stuff. That's the only problem. I'm not going to be able to get all the way up to 6,500 just with what the produce we've got out here. I don't think that if I sold everything that we'd have enough money. I think we'd still come up short. I'm pretty, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'd be okay. We might be all right. It's hard to tell. I'm trying to think of how much we've got here. Uh, it'd be close. It'd be really, really close. We'll, we'll see. We'll absolutely see. We might be able to make this work with the produce that we've got available. We might be able to get enough for that small greenhouse. Let's check it out. Because I know I got all this stuff over here. Oh, yeah, I got all these watermelons over here, so this is good. Um, let's empty this. Are these ready? Yeah, these are all ready. Wow, okay, cool. They've got no water, and they've got no, uh, <laughs> they got no water, no fertilizer, but they're ready to go, so there's that. <laughs> so let's get these picked up, and maybe we'll have enough to be able to get that smaller greenhouse with all this said and done. Uh, or we'll be really, really close. So let's find out. Um, how many more we got? We got five. And I'm going to need one more shell, one more container from over on the other side. Okay, there's that. And that one. Okay. So, yeah, 30, 3,800 or 3,700. I've got a feeling we're going to end up like in the, in the low to mid 6,000s. Is what we're going to do. Tired MSU dude. How you doing? Hey, no one's ever late. The fact that you're here is what matters most. So I'm glad you're here. Uh, doesn't matter when you get here. The fact that you're here is what matters most. So I'm glad that you made it. Uh, hope you're having a wonderful Friday. So thank you very much for being here. Doesn't matter what time you get here. The important thing is that you're here. So that's what we love. So thank you for being here as part of all the fun. Okay. Let's put this stuff over on this side. And, yeah, 3860. I've got a feeling we might come up a little bit short. So I might as well just plant a bunch more stuff anyway. Because um, then for sure we'll have enough money. No doubt about it. Because the other trouble I have is if I, if I sell all this and run myself completely out of money, then I'm not going to have enough money to buy anything after that. So that's the other issue that we have with all this is that even if i sell all of it i mean let's see 44 so that'd be like 40 49 51 maybe 55 yeah it'd be close let's just go buy some more pumpkins let's do that so we'll get a we'll get a couple more round of pumpkins and then we'll get uh, the, yeah, we'll do two pumpkins, a radish, uh, two pumpkins, a path, a cabbage, a melon, and a garlic. We'll do that. We'll do that run. So, okay. So two pumpkins. And put those in. And then a melon. Remember, you're a melon. And that. And then we need a uh, cabbage. And then we need a, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, uh, I'm going to do a, oh, I'll do a garlic. Yeah, garlic. There we go. Put all that in the truck. There's Susie Lou. There she is. In the chat. And we're going to make our way back, plant all this, and then go to sleep. Because it is getting dark again. Oh, and all the plastic boxes. Yes, I'll have to come back for the plastic boxes. Oh, I think I clipped through that person. Is it better to be a melon or maroon? Oh, uh, that's a good question. It's hard to say. They're probably about equal, all things considered. They're probably about the same. It's hard to tell. Um, 
Maybe it just depends on what day it is. <laughs> it's, it's hard to tell. Okay, garlic down the row. And there's that one. Okay. And, yeah, let's get all this planted, and then we'll go to sleep. Um, Because it's going to get dark in a hurry. So, cabbage right down there. I'm glad I can even actually even see the plots here. So, the fact that I can actually see them is something. There needs to be a light on this light pole, like there is over there. I mean, there really needs to be a light there. That would really be nice. It would make a lot of sense, um, which is probably why they don't have one. So, melons, right down that row. I can see. I know you can't. I can. <laughs> it's like, how is he seeing this? It's very, very tough. All right, let's get these cabbage or these pumpkins in. Now, these I can barely see. They're there, but I can barely see them. Oh, boy, I'm doing this more by feel than anything at this point in time. And one more. Yeah. Why don't I just grab this light out of this field? I'm not doing anything with this light in this field. So let's grab this light. Let's put it in the middle of this field. There we go. Ugh! Right about there. And where can we drop it? Right there. Turn it on. A little bit of light. Not much, but a little bit. And let's. Uh, we got one more thing in here. Oh, I can't see this. Forget it. I cannot see a thing. Not a darn thing at all. Forget it. Let's just go to bed. Um, I got to save up the money for the greenhouse. Once I have the money for the greenhouse, I'll buy some lamps. But I got to save up the money for the greenhouse. So we will we will have it very, very soon. It's all the stuff that we got to buy. So many things. So many options. Okay. So more pumpkins. There we go. Going to put all these in the ground. And there's those. Okay, cool. Got it. Okay, now the fertilizer and the water. Water first because they'll, they will stop growing without the water. So that's more important. The fertilizer, they'll, they'll still grow without fertilizer, but without water, they will not do a darn thing other than sit there and look dumb. So we don't want that. All right, let's grab this. Right down the line. And now we're going to go here to the melons. And get those. I'm not going to water the lantern. That doesn't really help. And then we're going to go here and get the pumpkins. And right down the line we go again. I'm getting better at hitting those spots. And uh, there we go. Those. And just a little more water. There it is. Okay. Now the fertilizer. Oh. Uh, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, well, I definitely wanted to live stream this one again uh, because this one's a this one's a fun one to live stream just as a, like a late night kind of thing. Because again, it's just it's it's a it's a chill thing. It's uh it's just kind of nice and relaxing. It's a nice way for all of us to kind of get together and just kind of hang out and have some fun and uh, and not be running around the back of a, of a supermarket like crazy or running around in the basement of a mad laboratory trying to figure out how to do all these crazy things when there's like 59 things you can do all at the same time. Here, you're just kind of, we're just doing like produce. It's, it's, very, it's very, very chill. It's very zen. I'm all about zen. I do love some zen. Um, it's all about Zen with me, for sure. So, yeah, this I, these are a lot of fun. I always like these. It's very it's very cozy, and cozy's good. So, got all the pumpkins. Going to need some more fertilizer and more containers. So, we will have to get that in our next run. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Let's see what we need. Uh, second from the back on the melons. Um, oh, way back there. Okay. Uh, was it fertilizer I missed? Or was it, uh, oh, water. Oh, it was water. Got it. Okay. Water it is. Okay. Get you watered. That would have been weird. Okay. There they are. All right. All good. Okay. So let's see. I need one, three, four, six fertilizer and 10 containers. 
So, yeah, at least we're outside. I'm getting plenty of vitamin D, so that's good. Um, we've at least got that. Uh, I was wondering if I could go backwards all the way there, and the answer was no. And we've got nothing to sell again. Okay. So six fertilizer, ten containers. That works. We'll do that. And we're going to give you a nudge, just a little nudge right there. Just You're trying to run away. We're not going to let you. So <laughs> there's no getting away. Uh, cozy and chill is always good. It absolutely is. You cannot go wrong with cozy and chill. You cannot. Okay. Fertilizer. And in the truck. And there's five and six. And now some white plastic boxes. And I can do this and just pivot because I do love a pivot. The less I have to run, the better off we are. All right. A seventh fertilizer. Not that I needed it, but we got it anyway. And four more. There, there are two more now. One, zero. There it is. Have to go vacuum the house. Sounds like a plan. We will be here. Oh. Okay. All the water. Good thing. And I've not even muted my mic yet. So <laughs> give it time. Is this how I really, really drive? Um, no. Not real life. But in real life, my car has brakes. And it doesn't turn like a boat. So <laughs> nothing like a good pivot. Absolutely nothing like a good pivot. There's, that's the best way to go. Got to have a good, got to have your pivot game on all the way. And because I, I'm going to leave that one right in my face. There it is. Okay. And now let us get our containers. Oh, yeah, this all goes over here. Everything over here now. So all this up here. Going to actually have to do a little bit of running here. Got to get a few steps. Can't, can't pivot all the time. Uh, every once in a while, you got to run just a smidge. Just a little bit. And here's our fertilizer. Okay, so that's going to go there. And more uh, shelves. And now it should be all fertilizer from here. Yes. So now we can pivot. All the pivoting now. We're all about this. And I'm going to have one extra fertilizer. And that's just going to have to sit. Okay. That was everything in there. Okay, got it. Oh, let's see. Window chicken lights. <laughs> all the window chicken lights. That'd be hilarious. Okay, so this is all pretty close. Is the garlic ready? The garlic's almost ready. I can probably water it and get it completely done. Let's see if I can water this into completion. Just about. So that'll work. Um, so that'll be just about ready to go. So now we can grab some of our containers and we'll get the garlic start selling the garlic and uh yeah that friend scene where ross is yelling pivot one of my favorite scenes in the in friends absolutely one of my favorite scenes in that in that show i love the blooper of it even better um if you haven't seen the blooper of it you should definitely look it up on youtube um where where david schwimmer and matthew perry just both bust out laughing it, while they're doing the scene it is it is really really good i really like that one definitely worth checking out for sure okay we got uh we'll leave that one garlic there for now what do we got here how are these doing three minutes and a couple minutes and six minutes okay so i can water these and this will help push them along so leanne hutton hi how you doing happy friday to you Glad you're here. Or is it Saturday there? I forget. Um, happy whatever day it is. Glad you're here. <laughs> um, welcome to our our fun little countryside live stream. We're having a good old time. Uh, getting everything watered. And trying to get money for a greenhouse. We got a fancy truck. And now we're just trying to get money for a greenhouse. And I think that there's one of the uh, melons that I did not water here. I think one of these needs it. Or did I get them all? Okay, maybe I got them all. Okay. For some reason, I thought there was one that I missed. And just a few more. Down this row. Uh, Where did we leave off? Here. There we go. There it is. 
It is Saturday. That's what I thought. That's right. It is Saturday. Well, happy Saturday to you in the future. <laughs> you of the future in the world of tomorrow. Glad that you're here. Okay, that's going to be a minute. So while that's going, I will drive this all over here because it's important to actually sell some produce every once in a while. <laughs> this wouldn't happen if I had a backup camera. Uh, they can't even put a rearview mirror in this thing. Why am I thinking of backup camera? All right, let's stop. And she is from the future. She's from the world of tomorrow. Ooh. And a little more pivoting. This is some precise pivoting. Got to find the exact pixel to pivot on that one. But we got it. So pivot. 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 Um, that's my bad David Schwimmer impersonation. I'm going to drop that right there. Ugh. Got it. Okay. Like a glove. Just perfect. That's a perfect parking job right there. Can't question it. Cabbage ready to go. All the cabbage. Now we should definitely have enough to be able to get the greenhouse. For sure. Definitely should be able to get the greenhouse after this run. No doubt about it. So let's get all this put up. And then wait for that sweet, sweet greenhouse money to roll in. <laughs> um, and then we'll start being able to produce produce even quicker. Producing produce. Um, English is such a weird language. Such an absolutely weird language. Okay. Got garlic cabbage. It's a good mix. Um, what, what did I say that I have to clip and make a GIF? Uh, there's so many things that are possible that I could say that I could clip and have to make a GIF. Um, so whatever it is, I will leave it up to you to clip it and make a GIF out of it because you are a million times better at that than I am. So I am, I, I already used the three years later. You haven't seen it, but I did use the three years later in the video that I subsequently deleted and will have back up. So if nothing else, if you don't want to see the center station video, go to like, oh, pivot, go to, go to like one, one hour, three minutes in the video when it comes, or no, go to like one hour in the in the video when it comes up again and you'll you'll see the the three the three years later it was epic um but yeah i uh i had to pull the video down or no 110 110 it was at 110 that's right because that's when the video ended was 110 so yeah go to one hour 10 minutes and you'll see it there it'll probably be up tomorrow but yeah you can just go go all the way up to like an hour 10 uh close your eyes and just listen, and you'll hear three years later um, because of all of your master work. Um, <laughs> that is beautiful, and I'm going to make sure that I use that any chance I get. No doubt about it. Just don't tell the Sponge, SpongeBob SquarePants people about it because they will probably not be appreciative. So <laughs> we'll keep that our little secret. We'll keep it between all of us here. All right, I'm just going to wait for these pumpkins. And once they are done, then we can run them over to the market. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you all had a wonderful Friday. It was a pretty good one here. I mean, it was uh, it was pretty nice. Really windy today, which for central Illinois is kind of normal. But, uh, yeah, it was really, really nice. We had a We had a nice time. Went out, we had some Portillo's for dinner because we do love the Portillo's. And uh, the next, like the next week here, it's supposed to be like in the 70s, 80s. The weather's going to be redonkulous here. So uh, it's going to be great. I'm going to go and be seeing my buddy Bill tomorrow for uh, our, our monthly game night that we have. So that'll be a lot of fun. And then, like I said, Sunday, we're going to have the live stream. Got a, got a lot of stuff going on. But yeah, I hope that you had... Uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Friday because after all it's Friday. So you can't really go wrong with a Friday at all. So these are not done just about ready. And we will get these all squared away. So just about a watched pumpkin never grows. So <laughs> there we are. Now we got it. All right. And more containers for all the pumpkins. And a few more. Ugh. 
Let's see. Uh, windy here in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's it's been – the weather's been weird. It, but then again, it's the Midwest. And I, it's like I always say about the Midwest, if you don't like the weather, just give it a minute. And it, it will change. That's what it always is. So you, you just got to give it a little bit of time, and it will always be different. <laughs> so, yeah, it's um, – it was definitely very, very breezy today. No doubt about it. All right, let's get these swan around. Fish fry Friday. Do love some fish fry. No doubt. No doubt. Do love a good old fish fry. Uh, all right. Let's put these up. And hopefully then we'll be in good shape here. Oh, it had been a while since I had hopped in the truck, so it had to happen eventually that I hopped in the truck. Do some pivoting here. And now I've actually got to run. So we're going to have to do a little bit of running here. Can I pivot to there? No, I can't. That's a little far. A little too much to pivot there. Look at all these pumpkins, man. We've got all kinds of pumpkins here. Uh, we are the definitely the, the pumpkin capital of whatever town we're in. <laughs> whatever town it may be, I do not know. Now the question becomes, do we go for the little greenhouse or do we go for the big one? I feel like we just, uh, I don't know. Maybe we just go for the little one just to say we have one. I don't know. I, that's what I'm kind of feeling. Just so we don't, so we can actually like see it. And because it's closer to a garbage can. So there's also that little bonus. So I might go, yeah, we might go with the little one. I'm just going to walk up to it. And kind of take a look at it and be like, hello, hello, can we get in? Hello, I'd like to get into the greenhouse, please. How many spaces are in here? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So it's got 28 spaces in there. Now everyone's saying the big one. Ah, oh, okay. It's going to take longer, but we can do it. So we, we can do it, but it's going to bigger is better. Um, that's what she said. Oh, darn it. Um, <laughs> that was your fault. No, it wasn't. That was totally my fault. All right. So we will then none waste of money. <laughs> but we got to have a greenhouse. We got to have a greenhouse. I mean, it just got to. Uh, I mean, we got to spend the money on something. So we got to get a greenhouse. I mean, after all, I put it in the title, so it would be false advertising if I if I didn't buy one. All these people here looking to get nudged, you're going to definitely get nudged. So are you, and so are you, because you're all walking right all up in the road. That's all your faults for doing that. You should stop it. So, all right, let us get some more produce. Um, so we're going to do the same thing that we did again. More pumpkins and more pumpkins. And then we're going to do some more uh, watermelons and some more cabbages. And we're going to do some more. Uh, we're going to do some tomatoes this time because I'm feeling tomato-y. So let's see. Get truck number three. <laughs> I don't need another truck. We're good on trucks. <laughs> we're absolutely good on trucks. I do not need more trucks. Um, I need some more plastic boxes, though. I know I do. I should pull this up a little bit closer. Oh! Ugh, just get that right about there, and I think we'll be good. Now we can do some quality pivoting. That's some quality pivoting right there. I don't know how many of these I need. But I'm going to go with like 10. So, yeah, we'll do 10. Look at all that quality pivoting. That is why you guys come here to this stream. It's for all the quality pivoting. I know it. Let us run back and start getting this stuff actually i might just go right to i might just go right to sleep because this is kind of useless again all of you all up in the road what are you doing why are you all in the road why are there not sidewalks in this game i must know why are there not sidewalks here you would think that they would put those in because there's this crazy guy that drives around in his pickup truck knocking everyone down fertilizer uh yes we do actually have to get some fertilizer too um, let's see. Price out the planters. So the planters. Well, the thing is, though, is that the greenhouse, they do grow 25% faster. So in the beginning, 
it, it's it's one of those that eventually your return on investment will will come up, will come around. So it's so yeah, it, it's the fact that it grows a little bit faster. And again, I got to have a greenhouse, even if it's a little bit of a even if it's a little bit of a break even thing. Let's see, what would it cost if you bought the planters instead of the greenhouse? Okay, well, how much is a one by two planter? Is it three hundred? I think it's three hundred. So, and there were fourteen in there, so it'd be forty-two hundred. So you're basically paying another thirty-three percent for the, or about thirty, no, about fifty percent for the fact that everything grows twenty-five percent faster. So, that's that's worth it. I mean, I think that's worth it. Um, yeah. So I'm in the country, so far where you are. <laughs> I never said I was a good farmer. Uh, I just said I was a farmer. I'm, I'm a I'm a cityfied farmer. So, so yeah, I think it's the fact that it, everything grows 25 percent faster is what makes it a little bit more worth it. So yeah, if if it didn't grow any faster, then yeah, absolutely not. But the fact that it grows a little bit faster is why I would. So, and again. I've got to have a greenhouse. Oh, why did I hop in the truck? Now I'm off lazard, off razzled. So, yeah, because it's there. And, I mean, it could be worse. I could buy a house house, and I really don't need one of those. Um, to get the big greenhouse, or I can get uh, – it would take a lot of money to get both of them. That would be a lot of, a lot of cash. So right now I'm just looking to have enough to get one. We've got enough right now to get one. But it would be the smaller one. So we'll I think we'll be able to buy the bigger one. We'll be able to do that. It'll yeah, we can even do that in the stream. Oh yeah, we've only been here an hour and a half. Oh yeah, we can do that for sure. No doubt. Friday night chill vibes? Yeah, we can get that for sure. We can make that happen. What else do we have in here? Uh drink. Oh gosh. I don't know why I always hop in the truck. I, I really don't. I don't do it for the bit. I really don't do it for the bit. I just, I'm just that uncoordinated. Okay. And don't hop in the truck. There we go. Just hit the pickup storage. That's what we want. Okay. And all of that's done. What's in these boxes? Or are these like wooden blocks? No, they're boxes. So what's in these boxes? I want to know. We're never going to find out, but I would really like to know. Mysteries that will always be unsolved, unless they put it in an update. Uh, we'll just have to, we'll have to fill in the blanks ourselves as to what could possibly be in those boxes. Oh, no, I missed that one. And there we go. Let's see. My farm is called Green Acres. Yep. Do 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 do. Uh, and I would totally be. Um, <laughs> the the yeah I would, yeah I would totally be the thing. All right. Let's see. What did I leave off on? Uh, did I get all the cabbage? Yes. Okay. So I left off here, on the watermelons. Okay. Down the run. All the watermelons. And now we just got our pumpkins. Our two rows of pumpkins. And we'll go around here. And one more row of pumpkins. I really wish that that would hold like enough for 18 things so you can get two whole rows. It would really be nice. Um, but that would be asking a lot. So what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. I do the big one, skip the little one. I get to buy the greenhouse. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'll get the big one for sure. Because it, it is probably a better deal to get the big one, I would think. So we'll we'll do the big one. And then we'll ponder whether or not we're going to get the little one. But we'll do the big one for sure. Okay. Uh, uh, is that? Okay. That's all of those. And now the cabbages. Okay. So more fertilizing 
I love the way that when you fertilize them, they just immediately sprout to like their next stage of growth. It's it's kind of funny. Oh, the, I, I saw one of the, yeah, there's one of the attack hawks, one of the attack vultures. We love those birds. They're, I'm waiting for one to pick me up. I'm just going to watch you. What the heck kind of birds are those? I really want to know. Um, that, that's got to be something that the, the developer threw in. And, well, obviously it is because it's the developer's game. But I really would love to know what kind of birds those are. <laughs> Other than, like, killer attack birds. Um, that's the one thing we know. Uh, let's see. It took a minute, but I got the clip of making the GIF. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. I knew it. Uh, all right. And more pumpkins right here. And more fertilizer. Okay. So how are we doing on money? I I'm guessing that we are once again out of produce to sell because I've not seen our money change in quite some time. So I'm guessing that we're out. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, no, three, because that can go up. So three fertilizer, 19, 23 containers. Oh, I got all these containers here, you maroon. I almost forgot about these. That's right, because I went to bed and I didn't put these away. So this is what happens when you don't clean up your truck. <laughs> you, you leave stuff in it and forget that you had it there. Okay, so we got all this. And I'm going to put all these away. And then I'm not going to need nearly as many containers. So I think I, I forgot how many of these I bought. Might have been 10. Yeah, I bought 10. That's right. I bought 10. So, or maybe it was 12. I don't know. Are there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's still more in there. So, okay. So how many more are we going to need when it's all said and done? Let's see. I'm going to need four over here. And how many am I going to need on the other side? So four, no, three, no, is it? Yeah, three, one, two, three, I can count. Um, I do math and I, I speak words. Uh, so three and nine is 12 and three fertilizers. So 12 containers, three fertilizers. Those are crows. Those are some big, big crows. Those are monster crows. Um, that's all I know. If those are crows, those are the biggest crows I've ever seen in my life. They look more like they're peregrine falcons, but <laughs> maybe they are crows. They just sure don't look like them. Um, okay, so we need three fertilizers, 12 containers. And we're going to drive right in there. Ugh! And snug as a bug in a rug. And more quality pivoting happening right here. All the pivot. So two, three. Oh, no, put it away. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. So... Aim higher. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That works. And more seeds. Uh, yeah, I might as well get a few more seeds while I'm at it. Let's do some stuff. Let's do some uh, quicker stuff for the. Uh, or no, we'll just uh, we'll just keep on going. Just keep on going with all the pumpkins. So why not? Let's get some more pumpkins for the other field. Let's do that. Uh, hello and thank you for the love. I'll be back tomorrow. Hugs. Yes. If you if you're if you're in touch with Yoda, tell her that we love her too, and uh, we can't wait to see her again, and we hope she's doing well. So yes, all the love for Yoda for sure, and for J Dub. Also, all the love for all the mods, um, because the mods are always hard at work and always keeping this thing running in the proper direction. So, yes, much love, as always, to all the mods, because their job is harder than mine. I just get to sit here and be the goofball on the screen. Uh, they've definitely got the harder work. So, But not with you guys, because you guys are awesome. And you, you always make everything so much fun and make it very, very nice and make it a wonderful thing. And I'm going to hop in the truck, because I can. So... But yes, always all the love to our, our wonderful mod crew for all of the hard work they do because they definitely do a lot of it. Can we put that on it? Whoa! I didn't realize that. I didn't realize you could put produce on a shelf. There you go. That's something I learned today. How about that? Cool. Um, nice. I did not realize that. So that's a, that was a nice little bonus that I didn't realize was going to happen. 
So there you go. In case you were wondering, can you put produce on a shelf or seedlings on a shelf? The answer is yes. Yes, you can. So <laughs> happy accidents once again occur here in the uh, little farm called whatever it is. I don't know what the name is of this farm. All uh, right. Uh, fertilizer right there. And then we've got more containers. These are going to have to go over here. And a few more. Going to have to do all the running now. This is way too much running, but it would take you just as long to like move the truck. So I'm not going to do that. Okay. All the containers. Now this should all be fertilizer from here. Yes, it is. There's one and two and three. How many licks does it take to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? Yes, we do have great mods. Absolutely the awesomest mods. The awesomest mods there are. So I love my mods. My mods are wonderful. So I would be nothing without my mods. So yes, absolutely love them. And am very, very thankful for them. No doubt about it. So let's do some more watering. See if we can get this to grow a little bit faster. And, oh, oh shoot, I got to do all the stuff in this plot. So let's do this plot. And let's get all this watered. Okay. And get this all going. And then uh, there's some there. And, I'm, wow, I'm actually watering backwards, too. Look at how fancy I am. Watering forwards and backwards. And did we get that one? No, we didn't. Okay. There we go. The whole tribe is very awesome. It is absolutely an awesome tribe. And again, it's like I said before, that is all because of you guys. You guys are the wonderful, wonderful thing that just keeps all this rolling and making it so much fun. Um, it's uh, the, the channel is definitely swayed by what the community is like. And you guys are just absolutely awesome with all your, all your fun, all your support, um, all your love. That is all because of you guys. So, I mean, you guys definitely should give yourselves a giant pat on the back for everything that you do for making this channel what it is. Because you definitely are the major, major part of it. No doubt about it. So, thank you guys always for being as awesome as you are. Because you are really, really wonderful. No doubt about it. Oh, the watermelons are ready. Cool. Uh, how about the cabbages? They will be ready as well. And the tomatoes will be ready. So that's great. Um, I'm going to get all that. Those are ready to collect. It's getting to be late. I'm not going to stay up any longer. <laughs> I wonder if the dev will bring in the sprinkler system. I do not know. It'll be interesting to see exactly what they have uh, planned for this in their, in their next update, whenever that'll be. I don't even know when the next update will be. So it'll be interesting to see what they'll do with this. Um, you're only here to watch, no worries, but Hey, you're also here to have fun with each other. So that's the important part. So, I mean, it's the, it's, it's those things put together with what makes it what it is. I just now noticed that comment up there. Those are the birds from Birdemic. <laughs> that sounds more accurate than crows that I can believe a little bit more. I can absolutely believe that. All right, I'm going to go hop in here and go to bed. I'm not going to wait for it to get dark, dark. We're just going to get right to the sunlight again. There's nothing to be gained, nothing to be lost by just going to bed immediately. So let us grab all of this and get all this picked up and put into the truck. Oh, I'm not going to like where I have the truck. I need to move the truck a little bit forward. It is too close to the water tank. All right. That's better. That gives me much more room to load everything up and not accidentally hit the water tank. So we'll do this. And get we can get, I think, everything in this one, in this shot. Because I think everything in here is ready to go. So let's do that. And uh, grab you. Yeah, I should be able to clear this entire plot out, I do believe. So, yeah. Let's get all this. Oh, there's the Forrest Gump shrimp boat. There it is. 
Got broiled shrimp, fried shrimp, shrimp soup, shrimp stew, shrimp gumbo, shrimp sandwich. I think that's about it. Um, got boiled shrimp, fried shrimp. Okay. Uh, got cabbages. Going to put those in there. I wish when you slept growth time. That would be nice. I don't know why they have it. Um, where, why, or when you go to sleep, things don't continue growing. That is a weird development choice. I don't know why that is. And thank you so much for that, uh, for that comment, Teresa. We abs that that is very nice of you to say. Um, uh, again, thank you so much. I, I appreciate that. Very very nice of you to say. Um, yeah, but I don't know why they have it where when you go to sleep things just stop. <laughs> it's like it's like the produce goes. Well, Rusty's asleep. Time for us to stop growing. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense, but it's uh, yeah. It's something that I guess they don't have programmed in, so they'll maybe at some point they'll figure out how to fix that, because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But eh, it, it's probably not a hard fix. I'm thinking they would just have to figure out how to how to add that in. It's probably it's probably something pretty simple. I'm guessing. Uh, let's see. You and Cans are the only streamers I spend money on because you both have a wacky sense of humor. We love you for it. <laughs> uh, again, thank you so much for that. Cans is a cool dude. He really is a cool dude. Um, and one day, I can only hope that we will have here in Rusty Champagne Land the same number of subscribers that Cans has over in Cans Alone Land. That would be awesome to see us get to there get to that point so like i said all you guys got to do is find like forty one thousand of your closest friends and let them know about rusty champagne and then we can be the same size as cantaloupe and that would be awesome so um so yeah if if each of you knows like forty one thousand people well not each of you but if collectively you know forty one thousand people then you can have them come on by and be part of this, and then we can be in the same group as Cancelon. So, so that's not hard now, is it? That's not asking much. Just just forty one thousand people. I mean, that that's okay. That's doable. Um. So yeah, that that's that's our target. Um. And and obviously, I mean, even more than that is even better. No doubt about it. So uh, yeah, I'm 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 definitely looking forward to seeing where everything continues to go. Um, yeah, if you have, if you don't really know who Kans is, yeah, his name is Kans alone, as it is spelled there. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, Diane Smith has it spelled out. If you are not subscribed to Kans alone, you should absolutely subscribe to Kans alone. Absolutely subscribe to Kans alone. He's a good dude. He does a lot of the same stuff that we do. He does a lot of live streams. Um, he does, uh, yeah, he's a real good dude. You definitely want to check him out. So if you are not subscribed to Cancelon, absolutely do it. Absolutely. Um, you will not regret it. He does lots of good stuff. So, um, yeah, definitely check him out. He, he, we're, we're both basically in the same space in terms of games that we cover. And, uh, yeah, his, his sense of humor is wacky. Um, he's, he's got a lot happening. So, yeah, it will definitely – you will not be sorry for sure. You can't fall asleep to his streams. He does have a different voice than I do. That's for sure. Um, his voice is a little bit, it's a little bit different, but not bad, just different. That's all. I've got the, I've got the uh, WDRV um, classic rock DJ voice going. Hello, I'm Rusty Champagne, and welcome to Countryside Life here on 97.1 FM, WDRV, The Drive. So that's it's just now if I just didn't have the face made for radio, I'd be okay. So, okay. I think I can get those up. There we go. Look at all the produce, man. We are, we got all the produce going on here. I've got more produce than I have room for it. This is just going to have to sit. So that's just going to have to, we're just going to have to drop that there because I have more than we need. It's always fun when you do a rusty raid on cans. I, I thank you guys so much for doing the rest of your raid on cans. I hope he enjoys it. 
I hope he doesn't get tired. I hope he doesn't get tired of it. <laughs> so, because I know that I always say, go and do a rusty raid on him, and hopefully he enjoys it. So, uh, yeah, uh, you guys are awesome for doing that. Because again, he's um, he's a uh, yeah, he's a good dude. So, all right. Oh, these are not ready. These are not ready. These need some water. So let's do that. Get them all watered, and that should get them pretty close to being ready. So let's do that. A little more water. And now, yeah, a couple minutes. That'll work. So uh, with all that stuff that we've got in there, that's going to probably push us up over. Where's that going to put us? Where is that going to put us? Let's see. Uh, maybe 8,000? Maybe close to nine. Possibly close to nine. Po oh, and we got all these pumpkins here. So, yeah, we might be close to nine. So, all right, so we got to do another round. Let's go and get another round of all of the stuff and plant it again. So we'll do it again. little nudge for you and a little nudge for you. We're going to nudge you closer to the produce. There you go. No, go to the produce. Just a little nudge. <laughs> I'm an excellent driver. I really am. And again, it wouldn't be this issue if all these people weren't here in the middle of the road. I blame them. It's their fault. It is their fault. No, it's never anybody's fault. They're just, they should be more cognizant of where they're driving. That's all. So where they're walking. I, I know where I'm driving. They need to be more cognizant of where they're walking is all it is. So it's always the passenger or it's always the pedestrian. Somehow. I don't know how. Uh, cabbage. Another pumpkin. And another, uh, what are we feeling? Um, we'll do garlic again. Where's the garlic? Let's do that. Garlic. Okay. And I know I need a couple of fertilizers. So let's get a couple of those. I don't remember how many I needed. We'll say three. That sounds like a good number. And uh, let's see. <laughs> five minutes to Wapner. Just five minutes to Wapner. And three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know why I'm counting these out loud. It's not really all that necessary. Is there one that's like growing out of the bottom? They're growing out of the bottom of the truck. I just now noticed that. Right down there. Those are containers. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Uh, that's a new feature in the truck. The containers morph through the bottom of it. Good to know. All right. This time I'm going to try dodging all the people on the road. See, it is doable, but they're just all out here. They're buying me out of all the stuff again, which I enjoy. So thank you very much for doing that. But now I got to grab the other stuff. Oh, ouch. That's going to leave a mark. That probably moved that a bit. Uh, no, it didn't. That thing is very, very solid. <laughs> so who to guess? All right, we got to take all this out. Oh, we got to plan all this. Oh, this was the wrong place to park. Okay. This was not a good, not a good plan. Mistakes were made. So let's uh fix this up. And uh yeah, so let's move the truck a little bit forward. And then uh then we should be good. I fall asleep to cryptic cryptic fox. I've not heard of cryptic fox. I do not know that name. So, but apparently Cryptic Fox has a voice that you can fall asleep to. That is good. Uh, looks like the front of my truck may be rusty <laughs> or beat up. Oh, man, I'm parked real close to the water tank now. Real close. There's nothing good can happen from this. Uh, let's get all this put up. And, oh, I missed that one. And there we go. And... Let's see. Uh, needs gaming. All the people I need to check out. Got all these people that need to be checked out. And, okay. Oh, yeah, we got all this stuff. Okay, so I got to plant everything first. So let's get all this planted. Cabbage. Right down this row. And then we've got probably some watermelons and some more pumpkins is where we are. Let's see. Time to take the truck to the dust bowl and maintenance shop for tire, tires and scratch daddy. Only the front right tire 
it's always the front right tire. Always the front right tire. So my voice is a voice to fall asleep to. Um, and it's a face that will make you wake up and go, ah! Um, but that's a different story. Uh, okay. We're going to take that. Yeah. Needs gaming. Okay. Got to check that name out for sure. Let's see what we got. And uh, pumpkins right about there. Planting all the pumpkins here on 97.1 WDRB. Okay. That's enough of that. <laughs> okay. Um, now it's all containers and some fertilizer. So all the containers. Now I can move the truck up. Let's move the truck up a little bit more. Ugh, right about there. Leaves in my face. So many streamers, so little time. Isn't that the truth? Um, but it's, I mean, the opposite could be true. You could have, like, no streamers and all the time. So <laughs> it's, that, that, that sounds like it would be worse, potentially. But if there were only more hours in a day, if only. So, all right. Uh, now I know at some point this is going to change over and become uh, fertilizer. Right about there. That was the point where it changed over and became fertilizer. And did I buy too much? I did. I bought too much. All right, let's drop that. Is there one more? Nope, that's it. Uh, let's see. Oh, Neebs Gaming. Neebs. N-E-E-B-S. Neebs. Neebs. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Neebs Gaming. Okay. I feel like I've heard of Neebs Gaming. Huh. Okay. Let me do one thing here real quick while I'm here. I'm going to just hop out of the thing. I'm going to go over here. You're not seeing me do any of this, but I'm going to do this. Neebs Gaming. And Neebs Gaming. Oh, with their 2.36 million subscribers. I would love to have 2.36 million subscribers. Do you guys know 2,359,000 of your closest friends? Because if you do, then we could be like that. <laughs> All right. I am now subscribed to Neebs Gaming. There we go. I will have to check out Neebs Gaming for sure. There we go. And now am I back in my, uh, am I back in here? There we go. We're back in. Got it. Never too much fertilizer. It goes fast. No doubt about it. Okay, uh, do I have these pumpkins over here? I do. Okay, i got to get these pumpkins. So let's do Susie Lou's favorite thing and back the truck up. And then we are going to get these pumpkins. They're quite popular and hilarious. Yes, I would imagine with that many followers, I would imagine that they are both of those things. No doubt about it. Um so, yeah, we're going to get these put away. We're going to get these put up in the market. And then we're just going to go to sleep. Because we're getting to the point where it's getting dark again. So we're going to get to the point pretty soon where we're not going to be able to see anything. But we're not there yet. We've got a little bit of light left. And we can make this happen. Get the rest of it. There's one of those birds. One of the crazy birds that is a very huge crow. <laughs> the biggest crow known to mankind. Uh, let's see. Uh, anyone got the other 2.65 mil? <laughs> That's not much to ask. Um, we'll, we'll all get there. It'll all happen. We're all going to go there together, and it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. No doubt about it. We'll all get there, and we will party like it's 1999. I made my sub subscribe. That's the best I could do. That's a start. That works. That gets us a little bit closer. Everything gets us a little bit closer, and we love every one of them. Absolutely love every one of them, no doubt. And here we go. I walk out of the truck with some pumpkins in my hand because occasionally that happens in this game. We'll never understand why. It's a mystery, but it happens. All right. A little bit of pivoting. Just a little miniature pivot. That works. And I can't pivot all the way over there, so I'm going to actually have to do a little bit of running now. Oh, running's overrated. I think that was all I had. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Let us spin back around. And let's see. So how are we doing on money? Stop. Not in the ocean, please. There. Uh, 7,900. 
So with everything we've got planted, we might be in good shape here. We might be able to make this happen. It's a possibility. How are we doing on time? 154. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's a, it's a possibility. We might be able to make this all happen. Let's see. Let's run back out here. And, oh, yeah, all this stuff needs water and fertilizer. That's right. So let's get all this. Oh, yeah, it's all, it's all parched. All this stuff's like, feed me. And, um, yeah, and it's right. It, it, it's absolutely right. So we're going to give it all the water, make it all happy, all the nourishment, and give it all the fertilizer on top of it. And then it will definitely grow a lot better after that. So let's see. What else? Okay, so we got uh, that. And now back down this way. All of the melons. And whoa, missed that one. And now this way with the pumpkins again. And all the water. So down the roll we go. And there's that. Okay, now the fertilizer. Let us get going with that and drop that right there. Okay. Fertilizer. Uh, so glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> to, yeah, that that, ha that happens to me every once in a while. I don't know why that happens. Um, it's, uh, it's a weird thing where it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to take these pumpkins with me. Uh, I somehow grabbed them out of the back of the truck as I walked out of the front door. It's a mystery. We'll never understand. That's another one of those things where you just got to think fourth dimensionally. And that's why it happens. So it's all that fourth dimensional thinking. Um, it's That's how it all comes into play. That's just, it's got to be what it is. There's no other answer. Okay, cabbage. That is good. Uh, these pumpkins. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. What is it? Uh, Shannon. Welcome to Rusty Champagne. Thank you so much for subscribing. Happy Friday to you. I'm so glad you're here. And uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, the garlic. That's where I was. But, yeah, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful time. We got all the lovely peeps here. Okay, that's all good. 8,500. So with what we've got in here, that should get us mighty darn close. How much do we still have there? Or is it all? Oh, no, we got plenty there. Oh, yeah, we got plenty to be sold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at, oh, oh, yeah. Hey there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're good. As I got all Minnesota all, all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, yeah, there. Hey. Um, okay, so what do we need? Uh, some containers? Yeah. One, three, four, six. And uh, 15 and four fertilizers. So let's do that. 15 and four fertilizers. And a partridge. That will work. 15 containers, four fertilizers. It's funny because when I'm driving, for whatever reason, I hold down the left shift key as if driving with the left shift key hold, held down is going to like activate an afterburner in the vehicle, which it does not. So I don't know why I do it. But for some reason, I do. It's just because whenever I'm running, I'm always holding down the left shift key. But then when I'm driving, I do the same thing and it has no effect. Um, but I, I don't know. It makes me feel better. It makes me feel like I'm going faster. It's like when you're a little kid and you put like the like the baseball card in your bike to make it sound like it was uh, in your bike spokes to make it sound like you had like a, a really hot rod engine or something. <laughs> it's the same effect, basically. Uh, go in there. And uh, I think I said 15. And I think I'm at 14. And I think that's 15. That works. Okay. Out we go. And whoa. And back. So, yeah, I think we're going to have too much center station. I think we're going to have enough to be able to get the big greenhouse. Because how much is the big greenhouse again? Oh, man, stop. Let's see. How much was this one? Was this 12000 Yeah, that was 12000 It's going to be close. It's going to be very close. We'll see. Might have to do one more round of stuff. But maybe. All right. Out. And 
our containers all up here. And then we got some more that we got to put over here as well. All the pivoting. Oh, can I? Oh, I can pivot. Yes. All the pivoting. Ugh. Get over it. Nope. I got to do a little pivot. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Oh, Fernando. I didn't say hi to you. How are you doing, Fernando? I just now noticed you there. Sorry about that. Um, glad you're here. Happy Friday. Okay, so we got all this, and then the rest of them go over here. That's right. Oh, I'm not in a position to pivot. This is not a good pivot job. Not a good pivot park job. I did not do well on that one. Going to actually have to run for all these. That's a tragedy. Okay, was that all of them? Did I actually get 15? Did I? I did. Wow, that was good. That was lucky. Now I can pivot like crazy. Do some fertilizer pivots. And is that it? Wow, look at that. I actually ordered everything properly there. Pivot! Pivot! Uh, <laughs> let's hop back out. Let's see what we got here. Is any of this ready? Uh, I can get a little more water, and that'll help it. So let's get a little more water on this stuff. And that should help it out. So all the water right down the line. Ugh, this water thing needs to be needs to hold more water. It really does. I'm not asking for everything, just almost everything. Because it's all about me. Um so got that. And the cabbages. And get this all watered. And down the line we go. Did I miss one? Yeah, right there. That's where I left off. Okay, and then here. And... Oh, that one didn't even get fertilizer. Man, what have I done? That poor guy is just like, I'm diminutive. Okay, you're better now. And <laughs> refill that. I don't know if that actually works. Oh, that's ready to collect. Okay, cool. Once again, <laughs> fertilizer pivots I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, only Friday night, only at Rusty Champagne. That's you gotta have, you gotta love a good fertilizer pivot. Gotta love it all the way. Um, and let's see, I'm gonna do this and go with this. All right, there's some of that and some more garlic. Those are not ready, but the cabbage is. Okay, so we're going to have some more garlic cabbage. And we're going to go up here and just start grabbing this cabbage. And then we got this. I think the watermelons are probably also done. Let's take a look. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, you are. Cool. So it's just the pumpkins then. We'll just be waiting on the pumpkins. And then we'll be all set. So another one there. Okay. All right. There's all that. And we're now all the containers from this side. All the white containers. So more of our watermelons. And how are we doing on money? 97.36. Okay. Yeah. So for sure, with all of this, we'll have enough money to get that greenhouse. No problem. Uh, that's what I'm calling the Hershey's words. So I can't go out. I got the fertilizer pivots. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, so many jokes that can be made there, and I'm just going to avoid all of them. Going to avoid all of them. Um, just going to dodge that one. Oh, man. So, okay. So the pumpkins are just about ready. These are ready. Okay. That's great. These are good to go. Let us go this way and get these pumpkins. And yeah, so with yeah, we'll we'll definitely have over twelve thousand when we're done with this. So we're just gonna wait for all this to sell, and then we'll go and get our our get our greenhouse get our greenhouse on. Gonna get our greenhouse on for sure. Gonna make it happen, and we need to get some uh, shelves and everything for it, because we got to be as efficient over there as we are over here, for sure. So, going to take this. Okay, these should be ready to go now. They are. And the fertilizer pivots. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, this is why I love this stuff. This is absolutely why I love this stuff. 
Nowhere else are you going to get content like that. It's like, sorry, can't go. Sorry, boss, I can't come in. I got the fertilizer pivots. Um, and he'll be like, what? Um, and it'll be like, just just watch the channel. You'll understand. And, uh, okay, one last pumpkin. One lone solitary pumpkin right there. Boom. In the truck. Back the truck up. And spin it around. And get going this way. And I know we don't have anything here now. I know we're empty. Stop. Stop. There. Right about there. And, hey, look at that. I'm holding a pumpkin again. As is custom. Going to drop it right there. Drop it. And, okay, all the pivoting. Grade A pivoting going on here. Boom. Oh, no. I messed up. I got cocky <laughs> with my pivoting. All right. There's that one. And now I've got to actually, like, do a little bit of walking again. So, how rude. All this walking. What are we thinking? And, I'm well, now I'm strafing. So this is this is more like strafing. So we're just going to strafe with this. Uh, we're going to pick it up, strafe, and set it down, and pick it up and strafe, and set it down, and pick it up and strafe. So it's pivoting and strafing. <laughs> it's it's the new way to do everything around here. Okay, uh, come on, get out of there. And oh, here's our all of our garlic. So then we should have a couple things left in here, I think. Is it two? It's one. It's one again. Okay. Down you go. So we got that. All right. So 90, yeah, 9,800. And we should be good. Take a quick drink here. Ah, oh, man. I love it. Again. For the 80 people that are here, thank you so much for being here on this Friday night craziness that is Countryside Life. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I would love it if you would consider giving the channel a subscribe. Um, it would definitely help out. But no matter what, thank you for being here and thank you for being part of the fun on this Friday night here for our Friday night chill vibe Countryside Life where we occasionally run someone over just a little bit. You can't run away. You can't, see? You can't. I'm just going to push you this way. Let's see how far we can push you. I'm going to, nope, 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 nope. We're going to keep pushing you. We're going to see what we're going to do here. Uh, I'm going to push you in the moonshine house. Nope. Okay. We, we, we did pretty good there. He got away. That's all we could do. So, all right. Uh, okay. So now we just got to wait for all the stuff to sell. Because I don't want to spend money until I have two things sitting on my shelf to plant. Oh, I do. Thank you. Uh, right there. Uh, they're right there. Okay, cool. Let's. Uh, we'll even put those in our little planner over here. Our little cute planner. Or fancy. Right there. Uh, two little pumpkins in a planner. So we'll put those right there. Hey, Bad Wolf, did your cucumber tray ever stop floating from here? Or do you have the perpetually floating cucumber tray that is still there? And how did you manage to do that? I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know why it is that you have the perpetually floating cucumber tray. Uh, don't kill Dave. <laughs> okay. I didn't kill Dave. I just nudged him. I keep telling you, I don't kill anybody. I just nudge him. I just get him. I, I move him over a little bit. They, they, they end up perfectly fine. They just need a little nudge, just a little one. They, they enjoy it. I, I, they, they've mentioned it. So I think, um, maybe. So, all right, we're going to set that there. Going to pick up this water. And Dave's not here, man. Fred's dead. Okay. And that's there. So 10,821. All right, 10,992. We're actually just going to go and stand right over there. Everybody's here. Everybody's here getting all the produce. Look at all these people getting all the produce, man. Wow. All the people here for all the produce. Man, it's like the cicadas just plopped out of the ground, and they're all here buzzing around the produce now. It's just, <laughs> we got it. It just lives there, and I have no idea how I did that. You you pulled some major wizardry. We know it. There, there's something that happened. Hey, there we go, $12,008. Okay, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. We have a greenhouse. Look at that. 
How sweet is this? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty. So this can hold sixty plants. Wow, sixty plants in here. That's cool. Okay, nice. Sixty plants. So I guess we can probably get some lights and put some lights in here. Um, can you put lights in there? I hope so. We're going to try it. Can we put lights in there? Um, we're going to figure out. Let's give it a whirl. But now we got a fancy greenhouse that can hold all kinds of stuff. That is sweet. Okay. Uh, I think I had to hang a left. So, yeah. Yay! Um, let us grab some lights. And let's see if we can put them in our greenhouse. Just for giggles. And... Um, there we go. Just for gits and shiggles, we're going to try and put some in. Let's see. Uh, where are the lights in here? Are they? Oh, here we go. Lamps. Um, okay. So, yeah, let's get some lamps. Let's get some fancy lamps. We got the money. Let's do it. Uh, can we throw them in the... Can we throw them in the truck? We can't. Okay. It's a shame that we got to buy them one at a time. That's unfortunate. So we're gonna we're gonna put a few of these up, and we're gonna see what we can do. So we'll we'll start with four, and see what we got. We'll put one in each corner, and see how this happens. Uh, what did I do? Bought, I bought ten decorations. Wow, it took me that long to buy ten decorations. That's crazy. Um, there we go. So now the question is, why don't they sell trash cans in here? They really should. They sell ladders for some reason. I don't know why they sell ladders. We could have bedside lamps. Um, we could have a street lamp. Ooh, we could get a street lamp. Let's do that. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. We're gonna put a street lamp in front of our greenhouse. I'm loving it. Now we're getting all. Now we're getting all cute. Um, what else should we get? Uh, should we get a chair? Let's get a chair. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. <laughs> why am I buying all this? I don't know. Someone stop him. Somebody tackle that guy. Uh, and what else can we get? Oh, I'm totally getting a red umbrella. You know I'm getting a red umbrella. Yep, we're doing it. Doing it. Don't forget to get saplings. I can't. I got to spend all my money on decor. <laughs> we got to get all the decor. Um, growing stuff is overrated. Ooh, let's get a grill, too. There we go. Look at that. We, we've got a little everything. <laughs> it's, okay, we've officially gone into silly land. Okay, there's all that. And let us uh, turn around. And, whoa, I think I hit somebody. Again, they were in my way. It's their fault. So, okay, now let's get some stuff to actually start planting because we're going to be boring and actually plant produce um, here at McRusty's Farm. So we're actually going to plant some more stuff because, I mean, okay. Um, okay, so we're going to get some pumpkins again. And we're going to get some more pumpkins again. And we're going to get some more cabbage again. And we're going to get some, uh, we need to get something cheap. Let's get some onions. So there's that. Now, let's see. How, how much can we decorate the greenhouse in the dark? Where is the greenhouse? Only I could lose my own greenhouse. It's up there. Okay, let's see. How much of this can we decorate here? Uh, let's see. I think Susie slipped him something. You never know. It's possible. I don't know what's in this Coke Zero that I'm drinking. Uh, it's it, There's always that possibility. All right. Let's see. Um, we are going to set up. Oh, oh, I, oh shoot. I got to try and plant this in the dark. No, this isn't going to work. Okay. Uh, we're going to... Um, we're going to just plant this real quick. I can't see a thing. And then we're going to hop back. I'm actually going to leave the truck here. And I'm just going to run to the house. You broke me. You definitely did. Uh, <laughs> it's all your fault. All of you. No, it's not. It's me. I, I, have no, I have no impulse control. It's not your fault. You didn't do it. You didn't make me buy the lamps. I did it. Okay. We're going to go to bed. And Morticia, how you doing? Happy Friday to you. You had window chicken for dinner. Everybody loves window chicken. It's all the seasoning. It's all about the seasoning. 
Okay. Let us now run back to our new Fonsi Greenhouse. Because now this is going to be the place to be. Because it's bigger than the plot of land, and it grows 25% faster. So it's all the bonuses. And I'm going to hop in the truck for no reason, because I do that. Um, okay, so then over here, we've got the, uh, what do we got? Uh, what is it? The cabbage. So cabbage down here. And right there, that works. And then, oh, yeah, that's right. There's no garbage can here. Frizzle, frizzle. Uh, that was the reason I wanted to buy the smaller one. But we're just going to, I think at some point I might just start dropping all the empty things and then go from there. And maybe take them later. I don't know. Uh, let's see. This is the uh, pumpkins. Okay. They're a little bit harder to plant. But that's okay because they grow 25% faster. So I will I will take that trade. And we got one more. No. Uh, where did I miss one? Uh, what? That spot. That's what I missed. Okay. So I'm just going to drop these. I'm going to have... I'm going to have empty plant. I'm going to have en empty seedling planters on the ground. Um, that's okay. So we're going to go around this way, and I'm going to try and figure out the best way to get these all planted and and still have it be efficient. All right, that is empty. So we're going to drop that and one more. Oh no! Now we got all the we got all the stuff. So the grill. Uh, where are we going to put the grill? Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to put it right here. And then we're going to take the uh, umbrella, and we're going to put the umbrella right uh, here. That looks like a good place for an umbrella, right about there. And then we're going to grab our chair, and we're going to put it right underneath the umbrella. Look at that. We are stylish, absolutely stylish. And then uh, our street lamp. Uh, let's see. We're going to put that right there. And then we've got another lamp. We're going to put that in this corner. So drop that right there in that corner. I wish we could set it up on top of these, but they they don't go in the air. So one lamp in that corner. We're going to make sure these are always on because we don't pay utility bills in this joint. Um, we've got another lamp. We're going to put it in this corner back here. Look at us go. I'm um, going to put that. Uh, actually, I'll put it in front. And we got that lamp right there. All right, can I pick this one up? Yeah, let's pick that one up and let's set it in front. That works. And then we're going to take another lamp. And we're... Oh, did I? Oh, yeah, I got more lamps. So, there. Going to take this lamp. And, oh, the door's in the way. So, we're going to just set that there. And Oh, no. Build it. Drop it. Turn it on and open it and one more and we're going to take this lamp and we're going to put it over here look at us how stylish are we um we've got all the style we never go out of style ever oh can we turn on our street lamp oh we got to turn on our street lamp too that's hilarious we got to turn on our own street lamp <laughs> we got all the street lamps okay so I have no product to sell. That's a that's an issue. So now let us can I grab the entire shelf? I think I can. I'm going to try this. Can I can I do this? No, I can't because it's it's got stuff on it. Oh, that's a bummer. Um I was really hoping that I could grab a shelf cuz I'm going to move a couple of these shelves. Uh, because I can't afford new ones. So I'm going to grab a couple of these and take them over to our other place. So I bought all the lamps. It was important to buy all the lamps. It, it, was, it was critical. Can I take the shelves? And I probably can't put them in there, and it would probably be an issue if I tried. So where should I set these? Uh, maybe uh, here. Let's see. What's going to be the best place to put these shelves? Maybe like here. Let's uh, set it there. Ah, there we go. So much decorating. So much stuff. Okay. Um, 
You should be able to oh put the shel- put the shelves in the greenhouse. Maybe I love lamp. I love lamp. Um, I love t- table. That escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. It kicked up a notch. <laughs> Brick killed a guy. Um, that's a great movie. I, I stabbed a guy in the heart. <laughs> You know, Bricky, you probably should lay low because you're probably wanted for murder. Uh, okay, that's all. Got some water. So, yeah, now I'm going to have to move the water tank and all this. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of moving that has to happen here. So let's drop this. Let's grab our water tank and move that over. Oh, moving that. Uh, oh, well, okay, I, I tried. Like I hit press E to take it, and it, it doesn't let me pick it up. I think it's because I got stuff on them. Once they're empty, you can move them. But I think that while they still have stuff on them, they can't be moved. Oh, um, why are you hovering? Don't hover. Don't you hover. Just keep moving. Um, Don't you even think about hovering on me. Okay, let's set that there. And try and get it right next to it. Uh, That's pretty good. Okay, and we need the water tank. So... Let's grab the water tank and move that over here. So we will get that. So many classic lines from that movie. So many classic lines. Oh, man. That was back when Steve Carell was still somewhat of an unknown at that point. I mean, that was still earlier on in his career. And then he was doing stuff like that. Like that and Bruce Almighty. And, I mean, people didn't really know who the heck Steve Carell was all that much. Um, well, I mean, he, he had been doing other things, but in terms of movies, he was still somewhat of an unknown. And then, yeah, just busted out with those, and <laughs> it's just, that's good stuff. Okay, so now we've got, all right, now we're good. So now I can grab this, and now we've got the water. So we can start doing everything here, and this will all grow very, very fast. This is good. We got it now. We're on this. We can make this happen. I feel good about this. All right. Uh, this is all water. This needs water. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I just got to get a a good a good uh, plan for how to water this, like how to do this and how to like properly strafe and hit all hit all the plots with the least amount of movement because I'm all about the least amount of movement. It always comes down to doing this with the least amount of movement involved. That's what we're shooting for all the time. Because we are the epitome of lazy. <laughs> that's what we do. Man, look at these pumpkins. They're huge. Okay, that's good. It's bedtime for Diane. Diane, thank you very much for being here. Uh, have a wonderful night. And we will definitely see you on the next one for sure. No problem. Corell and Bruce Almighty was great. The outtakes of him. Yes, that that it was. Yeah, he is so good in that movie. So, so good in that movie. No doubt about it. Oh, what did we actually... Oh, that was the last thing that we had there for sale. That's right. That was the last thing we had. Um, I don't want to walk over all of that fertilizer, but at the same time... Oh, why don't I get my truck? And why don't I haul it with my truck, you maroon? Uh, that would make it a little bit easier if you just hauled it in the truck instead of hauling it one by one. Okay. Uh, occasionally, I think of some brilliant stuff. Not always, but occasionally. So let's take the fertilizer... And throw it in the truck and then haul it over to our new place. So we're moving. We've moved to the greenhouse because it has more space than this plot. And it can grow everything 25% faster. So maybe, what? oh, and it's a lot closer to the uh, to our market stall. So it's got all the bonuses going for it. And I'll take a shelf and throw it in there just in case we need one. And we'll grab some containers. And throw them in there. All the moving happening here. So much moving. Okay. And we'll grab these containers and move them. Uh, get off there. And put those in here. And one more. And one more. And then we'll grab the shelf. And grab and take it. Okay. There's all that. Uh, yes. HD Gaming. Definitely we will have more videos of Planet Crafter. 
No doubt about it. We're going to be doing more videos of Planet Crafting. No doubt about it. Have a wonderful night, HD Gaming. Uh, we will definitely be doing more of that one, I do promise. Because people love that one, as do I. That game is a heck of a lot of fun. And we will definitely have more of it for you. I'm going to have to move that grill to my way. So let's take it and put it right here by underneath the uh, tent. Or underneath the umbrella. That makes sense anyway. Okay, uh, another one of these. Let's make a corner. Why not? That works. And another one? What do we got? Oh, now we got containers. Okay, man, look at this. This is like, oh, man. This is feng shui personified right here. We just got all of it going on. So much of it going on. Uh, wow. I feel like I've outdone myself on this one. I really do. Uh, yeah, this is this is good stuff. And we're going to take this, right-click it, set it here. And uh, there's that. Uh, that's pretty close, I think. Uh, that's close enough. That'll work. We got a nice corner of shelves. So, <laughs> okay. All the fertilizer. Man, this is good stuff. This is absolutely good stuff. I'm, I'm digging it. This was a good call. It was a good call getting the big one. And I'm going to put all this in here and drop it right down. I'll have to figure out a better place to drive and park the truck so that way I can get some good quality pivoting going on. Because right now we are doing way too much running and we need to get better at pivoting in this greenhouse. We can do it. I know we can. It's just a matter of making it happen. Okay, a couple more of fertilizers right there. Meanwhile, I haven't been selling a darn thing. <laughs> so <laughs> I've been so busy moving all my stuff. I have not sold a dad bird thing. Um, is that a problem? I mean, uh, yeah, I'm not making any money, but uh, okay, that's not a big deal. I mean, we're, we're having fun otherwise. Oh, pumpkins. Uh, and I don't have a container. Do I have a container over there? No. Do I have one over there? No, I have no containers. That's a trouble. So, with that being the case, we can, uh, let's see, is there anything ready in here? I'm sure this is all ready or close. I can water it and it'll be done. Let us do that. So, let's give it some water and then that'll be ready to go. These pumpkins should be ready then. Yeah, these are all going to be good. And, oh, these are not, these are, oh yeah, because I planted these later. That's right. So let's go around this way. <clears throat> That's the only unfortunate part is that we do have to run a little bit outside to get to the water again. But again, if that's the biggest of my problems, I'm doing pretty good in life. That is truly hashtag first world farming problems right there. So I can handle that. Uh, the cabbage. We'll get this watered. And uh, is that it? Okay, a little more water outside. And look at all the lights we got in here. Man, it looks fantastic. And it's, yeah, we should be in real good shape. We are just all good. I will have to back in to unload. Yeah, I've definitely got a back end for sure, which ought to be really entertaining because I don't have a rear view mirror in this thing. So we're going to have to see how well we can do with this because uh, I can't see. All right, we're going to just try this. This is about as good as I can do. Uh, let's see. I think we're good there. Let's try. How are we parked? That's not bad. Okay, that worked. That's pretty good. So I, I, that, I'm feeling that. So collect, collect, and yeah, we can make this happen. This is all doable. Goals. This is really goals, man. We've, we've made it happen. All the goals. All right, let's grab a few more of these and get these things put up in our market stand. I don't even have to drive to the market stand. I can just run this stuff across the street. It's, it's, it's all so convenient now. This is so good. I love it. All right. And uh, let's grab that. I've got to still get used to the fact that that's right click. I don't know why that's so hard for me to remember, but it is for some reason. Okay. Cabbage. And I've got one more container. So let's get one more container. And oh, wow. And I grabbed those from a distance. There it is. Perfect. Oh, don't take it. And now just let's drive just a little bit forward. So I can just drive forward and backward the whole way and make this happen. This is this is almost too simple now. 
Uh, am I close enough to do some quality pivoting? Can I? Oh, yeah. We got some pivot. Definitely got some pivot. Pivot! There's some. And a little... No, I've hopped in the truck. That completely takes away from all the pivoting when you hop in the truck. And, yeah, there it is. All the pivots. All the fertilizer pivots going on there. Oh. Uh, okay. Let's kind of assess the situation here. See how we're doing. Let's get the rest of the stuff that we've got in our greenhouse out into our market stall. And then I think that might be it. Because I feel like we made a ton of progress tonight. We've done a lot of good stuff. All of us together, we've done a lot of good stuff. You should all pat yourselves on the back for all the good stuff that we've done here. Um, we've, we've definitely made a lot of it happen here. So let's get all the stuff that we still have in the greenhouse, put it out on the market stand, and I think that will probably be good. And I think I can even do this while it's dark. So I'm going to grab, uh, we'll just grab like 10 of these. Is a, uh, I'm trying to think how much stuff I have. Maybe I'll grab 15. So let's grab 15. That'll work. Now we'll back up. And... Go back to our greenhouse, man. We're gonna have we're gonna basically live in our greenhouse now, <laughs> at this point, and it's all lit up. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really is. Um, let us just take this, drive right over here, get close, and empty this out. Okay, now we can definitely pivot a lot of this. Yes, this is this is definitely pivotable. So we got that, and right there. Oh man. This is this is like deluxe pivot right here. This is goals right here. Oh, and I hopped in the truck. Stop that. Um, okay. Up there. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to actually run a little bit for that one. Just a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right. Now we'll take these, put them in here. Oh, wait. I could. Oh, I almost thought I could pivot from there. That was close, but not quite. So, man, I've got like stretch arm strong arms. Okay. Wow. I didn't realize it. That, is that the last one? It is. Okay. So now I can start grabbing stuff out of here. David Getty, how you doing? <laughs> Hello to you in Minnesota. Okay. I can still see a little bit in here, but not very well. Uh, I almost need some lights in the middle to make this work. Um, but uh, yeah, we almost can. We can kind of make stuff out a little bit. So it's not the worst thing. I do love the street lamp out in front of us. <laughs> that is great. The street lamp is definitely styling. So, okay. We'll grab all of this, put it all up, and uh, then I think we'll be good. I don't even know how much more stuff we got in here. Yeah, we got some pumpkins. Yeah, then we got all the cabbage on the other side. So let's just keep on grabbing stuff. Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. I should back this up. Definitely back the truck up. There we go. Oh, there it is. That's close enough. Okay. And more shelves. And more cabbage. And right into the truck. And then we run over here and grab another container. And we got a system. There's definitely a system to this. Oh, did I grab two there? Yeah, I did. They're both in there. Okay. And then another one. Yeah, and what time is it? One sixteen in the morning, and I don't even really notice it because we got all the lights in here. So that's it's not all it's not all that bad. I, if I could get a couple lamps in the middle, that might work. I could I could put some lamps like in the middle there, and that might do it. Yeah, I th I th I think we could make this. Uh, th this is a viable option. It's definitely a viable option, and then we'll never sleep again. We'll never have to go back to the moonshine house because we'll just be able to do everything from here. Uh, oh, that's not watered. Oh, doggone it. Ugh, okay. So we got to water that for 45 seconds. And then we'll be good. So a little bit of water on these. And then, oh, those are ready. That's ready. That is, that is. That is, that is. So why were you not? <laughs> what made you different than all of your brethren that were ready to be collected? Uh, we don't know. All right. Put that in there. And put that in there. Like I said, we're never going to have to sleep again in this game. We're just going to be able to work all the darn day long and just make it happen. 
Can we put a couple more lights in this thing? Yeah, look at how light it is. It's 2.25 in the morning. We can see everything in here. I mean, this is great. <laughs> Dude, this is this is a revolution. Um, I don't know why I'm so excited about it, but I am. I truly, truly am. This is this is wonderful. Now we're just going to drive through. Look at that. And just drive across to the market stand. Going to give you a nudge because you're in the way. So just a little nudge. Oh, you phased. You phased. You cheated. And now, okay, one more set of quality pivots. There we go. Yes. All the pivots. Look at them. So all the, oh, got it. There we go. Now we actually got to do some running. Um, so we'll do some strafing and running and running and strafing and strafing and running. And look at us go. Got all of it happening. And I think that's the last one. Is that the end of what's in? The, nope. One more in the truck. That is it. Okay. Wow, man. Oh, man. No sleep till Brooklyn. No sleep till Brooklyn. You got to fight for your right to party all the time. Ha. Huh. You know what? I'm going to stand right over here by my chair. You can't sit in it, but we can stand by it. Look at our lovely little greenhouse setup. Isn't this great? This almost makes a thumbnail. Almost makes a thumbnail. Oh, man. I do think that that one, I do think that that is going to be it, though. But, man, I've had a lot of fun. This was really a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this. I love getting all this set up. I love our greenhouse. I love our new pickup truck. I love all you guys. Oh, we got sunflowers in front of our greenhouse. We got a street lamp. We got it all going on. Karen is absolutely the worst, I'm telling you, man. She is just always feisty and always walks right all up in front of your truck. Oh, uh, but yeah, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. Um, because I really, really did. This was really, really a good time. So like I said, I will have tomorrow, I will have that center station simulator video that had three minutes cut off. You will have the three minute extra director's cut tomorrow. I will probably also be doing another, uh, planet, uh, another planet video tomorrow as well. And I'll probably have that for later in the day. And then Sunday we will have another live stream and that will be at 12 PM central daylight time. And that will probably once again be Center Station Simulator because we've got to see what's going to keep on happening in this crazy game because this game is crazy and we love it. We absolutely love it. And thank you guys all so much for being here. And thank you guys for making this fun as you always do. Uh, for those of you that are catching this later, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But until we meet again... Thank you, as always, for being a part of all of this wonderful, lovable silliness. I'm Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.